Welcome back to Raiders of the Lost Podcast, the ultimate film and TV podcast. Today we're going to be doing a horror movie draft. This is the first time we've ever done a draft. Today it's going to be about 1970s and 1980s horror. And we are joined by special guests, the Spooky Tuesday Podcast, Monica Height, Chelsea Duff, and Cindy Thompson. Thank you so much for joining our first ever movie draft. How Great. are you doing? I'm excited to do something sports adjacent right now. It's new for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Monica's like the, the only sport Monica yes, does. That's as close as I get now. to a draft. <laughs> no sweating involved. <laughs> this is athletics. <laughs> Well, we, we really appreciate you all, and I uh, want to just give the audience and our listeners, we're going to actually be cross-posting this yeah. on our show at the same time as Spooky Tuesday, so if you're, uh, lis- if you're listening on Spooky Tuesday, you can check us out on Razor of the Lost Podcast, all platforms. We do video podcasting as well, so YouTube, Spotify, Apple, TikTok, Instagram, Raiders of the Lost Podcast, we'd love for you to check us out, and our listeners, where can they find you, everywhere, Spooky Tuesday? Everywhere, everywhere, same thing. Every single place. Um, we are <laughs> at Spooky underscore Tuesday on social media, unless it's Facebook, then it's Spooky Tuesday Pod. Keep it you on your toes, and on Tumblr, Tumblr as well. Tumblr. Yeah, and yeah. we're on every single letterbox. Yeah, letterbox, as well. we're at Spooky Tuesday, keeping you very confused because we could not get the same usernames all across platforms. <laughs> um, but which was devastating. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> It's tough sometimes. Some people get like an underscore in there and it messes up your whole vibe. Our name is so long. Trying to have a seamless thing for every platform. It's difficult. It's and to get. Also, there's we, an we indie band that. that released one album called Spooky Tuesday. Um, and so we're fighting with them constantly. They are now <laughs> defunct. So but you're in litigation yeah, in, with them? We're in active litigation. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We love you, indie band Spooky Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so basically I'm going to explain how this is going to work for uh, listeners who don't know what a movie draft is or they've never done a fantasy sports draft before, which I'm sure there are plenty (laughs) of. So I'm just going to run through some rules and how this is going to work. So welcome to the first draft. We have made a list of the best horror movies from this era of the 1970s and 80s, ranked 1 to 58. The draft will include 10 rounds of movie selection. So at the end of the draft, each of us, all five of us, will have 10 teams total there'll be eight extras that just won't get selected so a couple of of losers that won't get picked (laughs) so in each round we will all select one film each once a movie has been selected it will be removed from the list and a part of that person and become a part of that person's movie team when it is a person's turn to draft they can select any movie they want from the list that has not been taken yet they don't have to just go in order of the ranking take whatever movie you want if it's still available At the end of the draft, we will vote for who has the best team. So we each vote for a team. You cannot vote for yourself. Whoever has the most votes wins. If we're all tied, then I don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure out from then on. (laughs) We will also put up a poll on Spotify on our podcast accounts for this episode so that the listeners on Spotify can select who they think has the best movie team and movie lineup. Each one of us will be given a draft number at random before we start. So I have everyone's name in a cup over here, and I'll just go one through five, and you'll get your draft pick order. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Keeping it old school. Oh, yeah. And so the draft order starts like this. So it will be one through five picks, and the first round will be in orders of picks one through five. So if I get the first pick, I'll go first all the way down to the fifth pick. The second round will go in reverse. So the person who has the fifth pick will be the first pick of the second round, then all the way back to number one. The third round starts at number one again, going to number five. Fourth round, vice versa, starting at five to one, and we do that for the entire draft. So it's a swing back and forth. So the person with the draft pick number five, they will have two picks every time it's their turn because they'll be at the end of one round and the beginning of the next round every single time. That's what we call the swing pick. The swing. Same thing with the person who has first pick. So they'll pick first, but then when it comes back to them, they'll pick twice every single time. They'll also be a swing pick as well. And any questions up until this point for our draftees, anyone? We know sports is confusing. You doing good? I do fantasy football. Who knows I'm, what's hey, up? And you sent me a very go. detailed hey. audio message yesterday that really <laughs> clarified things for me. So I'm good. <laughs> awesome. I, know, I felt like the text that I sent last week probably didn't make a ton of sense because it's like, how do you explain a fantasy <laughs> I, draft to somebody? But the audio I message. Thank you for putting yeah, in the terms sure I could understand. <laughs> I'm still not like totally sold on vo- voice notes. I still no, they're the best. I love voice notes. No, they are the best. 
It's I'm like walkie not... talkie. I'm incredibly exactly. bad at texting, and so most of the time it's incoherent. So I really <laughs> like the voice memo. <laughs> I'll send this kid a voice memo, like a minute and a half detailed. What's your opinion? No. Sure. Just a text back. That's it. Do a point per point <laughs> or a response. thumbs up emoji. Sometimes, yeah. it's, sometimes it's a wiki face. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna waste my time talking to you. Or I'll just, I'll you. just like the note. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you just... <laughs> You're like a like a hot girl that I, that doesn't want to give me their time, Anthony. <laughs> hey, I mean, <laughs> it goes that way sometimes. <laughs> That's how you see the relationship. You hate to see it, but it's true. <laughs> Wait till I ghost you, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna run through the list of movies in order of ranking so that the listeners can get a gist of the movies we're going to be talking about, as well as if you're watching this episode on Spotify or on YouTube on our accounts and their accounts, you can see the list we'll have up on the video feed. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 58. So we and have it's the, 70s through 80s, remember, 70s for and 80s listening. horror. Yeah. And I'm going to start at number 1, then go to 58. So The Exorcist, Alien, Jaws, The Thing, Rosemary's Baby, Halloween, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Friday the 13th, The Evil Dead, Carrie, a Nightmare on Elm Street, Dawn of the Dead, Eraserhead, Poltergeist, Suspiria, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Possession, An American Werewolf in London, Gremlins, Child's Play, Don't Look Now, Videodrome, Rocky Picture Horror Show, The Wicker Man, House, The Dead Zone, Beetlejuice, Nosferatu, The Vampire, The Lost Boys, The Omen, Evil Dead 2, Black Christmas, Young Frankenstein, Cujo, The Fly, Salem's Lots, The Stepford Wives, Predator, The Hills Have Eyes, The Last House on the Left, The Reanimator, The Return of the Living Dead, Little Shop of Horrors, Fright Night, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Near Dark, Hellraiser, Tales from the Crypt, Scanners, Deep Red, Christine, The Hitcher, The Amityville Horror, Children of the Corn, Pet Cemetery. Piranha and the Fog. You skipped The Shining. Skipped the Did shining. I skip The Shining? Oh, the shining. The shining. oh my god! The Shining's in there. The, the Shining's, shining's in is number there. five, so yeah. sorry. You went right over You're it. trying to keep I'm it incognito so, so we episode. forget about it so you can swoop it right away. <laughs> I see through all of your... Imagine if he deleted it off the list. Right. Monica, mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, oh, the well, shining came out. Crazy. In the that's yeah, just because this is my first draft doesn't mean I was born yesterday. Is that a horror movie? <laughs> I guess and here's it's a the horror thing. movie. <laughs> Rosemary's Baby actually came out in '68, but it's a banger, it's so we'll let it slide. Is that 1968? Yeah, guess what? We're yes. keeping uh, it on right. the list. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're yeah. keeping it on the list. It's, what a rookie. And one hey, 60s movie. It's a great one. It's an icon. <laughs> okay. Oh my so god! So I know when <laughs> we're just gonna brush over that. I know when Round you guys up. invited us on. Um, Monica took her homework really, really seriously when it came to watching all of these movies. But like, what is the balance for everybody else of how many of these you've seen? I've seen all of them. I would say I've for... seen every except yeah, maybe like five. I haven't. I haven't seen, seen the only one I haven't seen was um the reanim uh, reanimator, oh, but I know okay. of it. It's I haven't. Fun. Yeah, I haven't the only one I haven't that. seen. <laughs> I haven't seen Christine. <gasps> Christine's got Sutherland Christine's in it. Christine's great too. I it's in Italy. Seen... <laughs> I think I've seen everything in the first page that I have here, and then yeah, Piranha. I haven't seen either. You put I... some. You put some great movies in the bottom tier of the list. Yeah, I Hard mean, they got some the seventies and eighties had true. so many good movies. Yeah. It's the best time for movies. The nineteen seventies. Yeah. Oh, Deep, Deep Red. Red is one of my I watched faves. that last night. Yeah. Deep Red is so good. Oh Argento is such a cool director. Yeah, I oh, I had not seen so a shocking cool. amount of these. Um, and I was on vacation. We started planning this like two weeks ago, so I only had like five days to watch. I'm gonna be honest, twenty six movies. Um, yeah. Oh and my guess, God. guess what? Your letterbox guess screen what? must be guess crazy. What? When she finished. Guess who watched twenty six <laughs> movies in the last five days? I did. So really impressive stuff. Wow, I that's amazing. Not, awesome. not that's amazing. That's so amazing. cool. <laughs> my brain hurts a little bit, honestly, and my eyes have started to cross from staring at the screen ready? so much. She's feeling competitive. You know, what would be funny is if <laughs> if you never got, if you didn't get to pick any oh of those God. movies, it'd be kind of I'm funny. I'm going to. I'm going to because some of them are some of my new faves. Well, I mean, yeah. right. Some people like binge all of Stranger Things in like a week. So yeah, yeah. in a day. Yeah, yeah. Or the whole like series. What, mm -hmm. what are like some of your new favorites? Well, if I say you're gonna see start. them, I will say yeah. it along the way. <laughs> Show up that. Go and for a strategy. Notes as we pick. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, Y'all are funny. All right, how about I do the oh. draft selection? Oh, yeah, let's do it, man. So I have everyone's name in a cup, and whatever you get, you'll be that draft pick. So the first pick is going to go to... Keep him honest. I'm not looking. Not looking. Anthony's oh, the first pick. Rig. All right. Rig. Rig. Oh, Rig. 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 Let's be on record that he has no idea what's going on in that cup. So and much far away Ladies from it. First. Don't worry about it. They all say, I'm just I'm just going off the top of my head. Job, if James is next. Anthony, what's your team name? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow James is second. What? And then that, Anthony is third. <laughs> first <laughs> and third. <laughs> Anthony, your team name, please. The Polter Guys. The Polter Guys. Is that with a Z at the end or an S? Just an S. All right, you got it. It's my little pun for the day. Z's Z's fine. Z's fun. All right, second pick. I hope it's not me. It better not be. Not me. (laughs) (laughs) Woo! Monica. All right, maybe it's not got one on the board. (laughs) Maybe it's not rigged. All right, Monica (laughs) has the second pick of our movie draft. What is your my, movie team gonna be named. My I mean, team, team name, name is be. Christine and the Scream Queens. Chris, Christine, Christine, nice. And also the, the artist Scream Christine Queens. and the Queens. It. That is what's based off of. Gorgeous. If you want to know, and that's music. the only she thing I horror. could come up yeah. with. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. Hey, I mean, you guys had a few minutes to come it's up with. Fun, honest that's in the last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we have to cancel this we podcast. Cancel the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the third pick in the draft is gonna go to Sydney. Respect it. Respect Hell it. yeah! Nice pick. Nice pick. All right, third pick is for Sydney. What is your team name gonna be, Sydney? Sparkle <gasps> Motion. Wow. Never done that Love it. Love Sorry, it. Darko, That's right? A good one. Love it. Great. <laughs> That's really That's good. A great name. I'm impressed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm jealous. I wish I came up with something that good. The fourth pick in the draft is going to go to. You and me? It's, we're facing off? No. <gasps> me. Hey. Just so I get that first not swing rigged, not double fourth. pick. Yeah. I was about to say. If, Honestly, yeah. I was about to say, if you got first and then fifth, I would have been like rigged. <laughs> it's yeah, perfectly I mean, balanced. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's poor, perfectly balanced between book. podcasters. Yeah, it's <laughs> Yeah, that's a great pick. All right, yeah. so I'm going to be Who's Delbert it? Grady as my team name. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then Chelsea, you're the <laughs> swing go. pick, the fifth pick. What is um, your team We name are name? the Stepford Wife guys. Love that. <laughs> the Stepford, <laughs> Stepford Wife guys. Wife guys. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I made my look after uh, watching Stepford Wives. That's, I'm, I'm like... The post transformation <laughs> Stepford wife today. We love to dress on theme whenever we can. Mm-hmm. Oh, we I do love a good theme. We yeah, we do con- uh, costumes sometimes. Like Lord of the Rings, we'll dress yes. up in Halloween time. Yeah, yeah, dressed for up. Sure. We did. A, I did a great. Oh. <laughs> that was a good time. He does a great. Elra, I mean no, uh, Legolas, oh, you were great Legolas. too. Oh, he had the wig gorgeous. and everything with the braids. If the I can wear a wig, I will. I did. Uh, my, no, my best one though is I dressed up as Hermione. Hermione was excellent. <laughs> Wig. I, I got a, like a children's sweater that was, <laughs> it was so, so tight, tight on him. <laughs> <laughs> the tie like went to like above his belly button. Oh it my was god! So funny. That sounds really yeah. cute. It was the only one they had. <laughs> my my best was Audrey was, too. I'll send I you all photos. Dressed photo. up as the plant when we did Little Shop of Horrors. Oh nice! I, I knew it was really real good. Plants. Oh, nice. <laughs> True. She had leaves coming up, um, but we did Rocky Horror Picture Show recently. I want that and, one. And we all really committed to those mm. looks. Oh yeah, we had a great time. We knocked that out of the park. Yeah. yeah you did an episode, Yeah, right? yeah. Like part of our pride lineup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's such a oh fun movie. Is it really first on your list? To... Let's see. Oh, it's the I'm best. Just that. The saying. All right. <laughs> all right. Are you all ready to begin the, the movie draft of Raiders Lost Podcast and Spooky Tuesday? I Horror? Think so. Ready. I think so. Oh, my God. What's oh. going to be my first All pick? right. Ding, ding, ding. First draft pick is Anthony the Poulter, guys. Who are you going to take? For the first draft in the 2023 draft, the Polter guys select The Exorcist. The Exorcist. One of my favorite movies of all time. I think it's the scariest film ever made. Um, William Friedkin is one of the one of my favorite directors, and I actually just watched this a couple weeks ago. I've seen it oh close to 20 times now. I'm not is it just scary, but I think it's expertly directed and crafted by the entire filmmaking production. 
And I think it's really a special film in the genre of horror. Excellent so, pick. The Exorcist. Yeah, I like if we all just like, if you want, say a, a say something bitty. about the movie that you draft. Mm-hmm. I love that. All right, Anthony. I did. <laughs> Pull Dark Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Picks The Exorcist. Next up, we have Christine and the Scream Queens. Monica, okay. who are you taking? It's a hard one. I'm between two, but I think I have the most fun when I watch The Thing. Um, so I'm going to take The Thing. Nice I know pick. I'm skipping Alien and Jaws, but Jaws is not for me. I'm sorry. I like Jaws a lot. I love Jaws. Wow. Jaws is not I for you. Ch- the, the Thing is more for me. I love <laughs> okay. The Thing. I just think that it's a brilliant Valid. movie. I've seen it so many times. I also really enjoy the X-Files episode where they kind of copied it. Um, really, really good if you <laughs> haven't seen that. Um, but yeah, um, amazing cast. I love isolation horror. Sp- winter is scary in and of itself, so that's so a terrifying setting. So yeah, the thing. That's it for me. Excellent pick. The thing's one of the best I movies have a ever thing, made. Thing, uh, oh, nice. Right here. Yeah, yeah, I love that movie. Got- I have awesome. one in my room too. It's one of our favorite episodes we ever did too. Love that movie. We had that joke. We still haven't done a solo episode on it. We gotta We're saving it. Saving yeah, that. We we'll have that it. bacon in the freezer. It's Keep just it on ice. There. Keep it on We're ice. Open it up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, Sydney. Sparkle motion. Who are you taking with your first pick in the draft? Easy. The Evil oh, Dead. That's a pick. really good one. Nice pick. It's Evil one Dead. of. It's literally maybe one of my top movies ever. I love this movie. It's so good. I don't like the second one. Like. That's rare. Know Usually people like the second one more. Yeah, they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like the remakes? Um, I haven't seen the most recent one. Uh, I do like the 2013 one because how many gallons of fake blood was yeah. it? 70,000? Something like that, yeah. I love that one. Yeah. I love a good fake blood moment. I agree. Great pick. Okay, it's nice. my turn to draft. Delbert Grady. What do you got? I'm going, I'm going mm. Alien. Nice. Alien. It's one of my top five favorite movies. I adore that film. Ridley Scott's one of my favorite filmmakers. No one can hear oh. you scream in space. The best horror movie ever made. Maybe in the, in in space for sure. And I love the xenomorph design. Ellen Ripley's one of my favorite Jason characters. I know, oh. Jason X is. <laughs> Jason X. Thank you for saying that. We love Jason X. Absolutely. I just <laughs> love Jason X. <laughs> so, so think before you speak next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I adore Alien, and I mean, there's not much else to say that hasn't been said by everybody about this movie. I I, that was the one I was maybe going to do All instead right. of the thing. So, great taste. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chelsea, you got your swing pick, so you're fifth and sixth. We are the stuff yeah, I'm. Guys. I'm... <laughs> Who you I'm very Who you excited taking? because my first pick has not been selected yet, so I'm snatching up Invasion of the Body Snatchers. No! Um, I need that top of my list. Great pick. No. Great pick. Yeah. So jealous. Get that Sutherland, so a little Sutherland. Too. Everybody's great got so pick. much chemistry in it. Um, great if you're a little bit of an unhinged shipper, for sure. That's my arena. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us a pose? Of, uh... Like that? You want, you want one of those? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> okay, but I get a double pick, so okay, let me... Hmm. I feel like... That's a swing pick. Yeah, this is nice. one of the movies that I watched to prepare. I hadn't seen it before, um, but I loved it so much. So I think I'm going to go with An American Werewolf in London. Ah, I love the pick. Excellent pick. One. Yeah, excellent picks. Of my faves, gone. <laughs> the makeup in it is just so incredible. Like when you see the friend in the hospital and he's got like the gore yeah. hanging mm-hmm. from his neck and you can see right through it that it's like, Ugh, it's so disgusting. I love it. Rick Baker, baby. And the transformation mm-hmm. scenes. In the business. Shout out to <laughs> Baker. Great job. I love the picks. Yeah. I mean, when it comes to werewolf movies, that's got to be the best oh. werewolf movie out there. It's the best. The I best. feel like it's besides it's a tough Twilight, Twilight New Moon. <laughs> there is Twilight. Don't, you will not accept Twilight. Are they Twilight werewolves Erasure. or are they just, are they just like big dogs? That's vampires that's with the occasional werewolves. They're kind of just people like in that big movie? wolves. Yeah. <laughs> Do they even yeah. eat people? They what do they eat? eat? Especially human in the first vampire. movie. When they're human versions they eat vampires. of themselves, I think. And it doesn't have to do with the moon. <laughs> That's they're, so they're, boring. They're, they're shapeshifters. They're not werewolves. They're shapeshifters. They're not werewolves. But Curse. Yeah, not werewolves. <laughs> not in my book. Not curse. my werewolf. <laughs> curse is great. Curse is great. <laughs> the worst best Curse is good. Curse is good. Yeah. Was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's my pick. 
because we're coming back around, uh-huh. and I am gonna take so many bangers left. Holy crap! With my second pick, I will be taking Rosemary's Baby, even though it's 1965. <laughs> <laughs> what was your fir- What was your first pick? Alien. Okay. So I'm taking Rosemary's Baby. I think it's a really special movie and it's special one of my favorites. Movie. I mean, it's special, it's a special special <laughs> special movie from 1968. <laughs> I mean, uh, Roman Polanski, one of the most suspenseful directors of all time, and just great performances. And I love Hereditary because it's basically uh, Rosemary's Baby, like oh, contemporary. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I think it's just a great movie. If no one's ever seen it, check it out. It's phenomenal. Oh yeah, all time. All right, next up, Sydney Sparkle Motion with your second pick. Okay, I'm gonna do Damn Suspiria. <laughs> this was this was one of the movies that I hadn't seen. And I was, you know, I had some nice movie watching uh, supplements and I was like in bed and I'm like, this movie rocks. It gives me everything that I love about these movies with like the visuals and the color and the suspense. And it's so beautiful and so and that good. soundtrack, Goblin. Oh. And now, no, you can, just... now you're going to watch the new one that Guadagnino made because it's really fantastic. Oh, really? Remake. Is it? It's, it's one of oh, the best oh, remakes I've ever seen. I saw it's it. So I good. saw it. If you like, yeah. If you yeah. like blood, you'll like it too. It's, like, okay, you're oh, speaking okay. her language. Now yeah. you got me. <laughs> and also, he changed. He, yeah, he told it in a new way from Argento. Different. So it's a yeah. very different well, movie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You'll. Li- I think you'll like it. Definitely check the new one out. What kind of movie watching supplements are you taking? Like popcorn exactly. and like candy? Like what's yes. going on? Just, just a lot of <laughs> yeah. milk duds. Uh, <laughs> some waters if you're crazy. Nice, uh, Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great pick, Sydney. Now we're on to Monica, Christine, the Scream Queen's okay, second pick. Okay, so Who are you I'm gonna snap up these ones that I thought I I thought I would have time for Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I was wrong. Okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> Me I'm too. also Me gonna same, choose same. one that I just watched and I haven't shut up about it all week. Is it right? Am I right, girls? Yes, I am. It's Possession. I that's true. I oh, yeah. love yeah. that Monica. Movie. Oh my god. It was so good. It was She's influencing crazy? real hard on its behalf. Oh, yeah. It was just like a t- <laughs> That oh, movie's so funny, fuck. too. He's tired. He uh, he made love to me all yeah, night. Yeah, the performances <laughs> are so, so intense and wild. And then it takes like a 180 flip, like 40 minutes in. Um, And I made the horrible mistake of like watching up until two minutes before that. And then watching those two minutes where it completely changes uh, right before I had to go to dinner. So I was like at dinner, like, okay, this is so fun. I love to see my friends, but shut up. I need to go back and watch the rest of Possession. <laughs> um, it's really, really good. And also the main actress in it, her name escapes me, is the most beautiful woman in the world? Question mark? Yes. It's like the, the most amazing yes. performance ever, too. can like be with your amazing. soul. So. Watch that yeah. if you haven't seen it. She's gorgeous, yeah. And Sam yeah. Neill, oh, Sam yeah. Neill gives so it his all too. It. I've never seen yeah. him do anything like that before. The energy in those in that movie, the performances, yeah. it's it's so wild. You don't really see anything about it like that contemporary, except for like yeah. Saki Brothers. They get you with like the energy, high anxiety, but like this movie and is it, a different it made level me, of just mm-hmm. like fast. Yeah, it felt modern energy. to me. Like it didn't feel like a lot of these like seventies and eighties movies have like a feel of the era. This one felt like it could have been like it could have come out in the last five years for me, just because I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I finally relevant. I'm really glad you checked it out. Yeah, I'm no, really thank glad you, you like it so much. Me to do it because I didn't even know about this movie before. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. And that that scene in the in the oh train my god! Oh I'd my actually god. seen a clip oh, of man. that before, like a screening at um, Alamo Draft House. Before they like showed a little bit of it because you know they clip random shit. They yeah, and they're yeah, super and cut. I was they, like, I've whoa! Seen, yeah. what's the... And then I recognized it, and I was like, whoa! My <laughs> boom. Mm-hmm. That's full full commitment right Wild. there. All right, moving on to Anthony's next draft pick. He's got a swing pick now because he was Dangerous. the first pick. So yes. Anthony okay. gets two picks in a row. The Polter guys. <laughs> the Polter guys. <laughs> um, I'm taking Jaws. Jaws. Okay. Jaws. That hasn't been taken yet. I thought yet, Black Hag get Jaws, Jaws oh, right yeah. away. So everyone's surprising me today. Oh, no. yeah. My Chelsea, shark movie is 47 Chelsea, meters absolutely down. Absolutely. An invasion of that. The... Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that is <laughs> the best true. shark movie ever made. Oh. I, no, I think it is. <laughs> it's pretty good. It is pretty good. <laughs> no, it is. What's the Blake Lively one? Uh, Shallows. Yeah. That one's pretty good. The too. Shallows. The Shallows. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's good. For shark movies, pretty good. All right, what are you taking with your other pick? Mm, the Shining. The Shining. Top five. 
I got all the ba- I got some bangers. I can't believe that lasted right that long. Oh Woo. my god. Me either. The best Christmas Me movie either. ever. Yeah, really special to watch with the family. Love it. Loving it. <laughs> I watch it every Christmas with I my know. family. So <laughs> it's a comfort oh, movie. Shit. It, it is. is. Yeah. Oh, no. mm-hmm. I didn't think about it, it at is all. Monica, yeah. Christine, the screen queen. Monica, you're on the clock. Shit. Um, okay. <laughs> it's not going to be a racer head. I'll tell you that. Oh, a little hate just sprinkled <laughs> in for fun. I didn't hate oh. it. It was not for me. Okay. Um, <laughs> you don't have to defend yourself. It's okay. It's a, yeah, it's a very unique movie. Yeah. David Lynch is disappointed. I know. In you. I know. And I hate disappointing him. Um, am I going down the list right away, far away from the ones that are at the top? Ooh, I am. Pick with your heart. I want Rocky Horror Picture yeah. Show. Rocky hey. Horror Picture I lo- Show. We just did this on the pod two A weeks steal. ago. And we had so much fun. And, like, I don't know, this movie just, like, is important to me on a spiritual <laughs> level. I saw it at a young age, and then I went to one of the midnight screenings in high school, and it was amazing. It's just an incredible queer movie. Tim Curry um, is in that movie, in that role, is the person that makes me the most... The sexiest yeah, man alive. Exactly. Randy <laughs> is the word that I used. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so he, he's just so incredible in that movie. Just it's like mesmerizing to watch. And the movie does not make sense. That's true. But it's okay. It's about what it the emotions it evokes. It's not about the plot. Who needs <laughs> plot? <laughs> He's awesome. Everyone, I think everyone forgets that he was also the original Pennywise oh, in the I don't uh, forget. It TV series. No, <laughs> oh, not us. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, I remember not that. us. He's awesome. I love the set photos. He's just like smoking <laughs> oh a cigarette. Oh my god. <laughs> also, yes. Clue. He's oh. the butler yeah. in Clue. Yeah, so and then, good in that. <laughs> does he and... even claim that role in, in Scary Movie Two? He's he's in the house. He is of... in the the number two, the yeah. haunted house one. Yeah, the haunted he house is. one. He's oh the professor. God. Yeah. <laughs> and don't forget, he voices Nigel Thornberry yes. in the Wild Thornberry. Yes. He does? Yeah. Holy crap, that's oh, totally yeah. really oh my god. Yeah. Are you Are kidding me? <laughs> I love his nose Holy is as big as his face, <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> You're right. It's totally him. Oh my wow. god. Yeah, I Mind didn't realize blown. that until I was Mind listening blown. to the audiobooks for the series of unfortunate event books. I am an adult reading them now for the first time. It's fine. <laughs> but Tim Gur- Curry is like the narrator for all of it, and he does the Nigel Thornberry voice like a lot. <laughs> Amazing. That's incredible. Amazing. That's incredible. Great show. Great show. <laughs> All right. Sydney, Sparkle Motion. You are okay. next for your third pick. I can't believe this one's still on the board. Uh, it is one of my dad's, shout out to Mark, favorite movie, and that's Predator. Oh, oh nice. yeah. yeah. It's a great one. I, I wanted Predator. it bad. Well, you had an opportunity. Well, I'm not going to take Predator over, over the, the Shining or Jaws. <laughs> It That's is a steal, I'm but Predator is one of my favorite I'm movies. I'm so far yeah. down on the list. I, James because, is trying to hide it. No, I'm not trying to hide it. It's because it's also <laughs> like it's an action, action heavy movie, but also a mm-hmm. horror movie at the same time. So it's kind of like we we made they, we made the mistake of showing it to James's ex Uh-oh. a couple of years ago. <laughs> Think, she did, she's not good with horror, but we're like it's not that bad. And then we forgot about the skin And then within bodies. 10 minutes, there's ha- skin bodies hanging upside down. She's like, oh, my God, what is That's this? We were like, oh, yeah, it is pretty bad, it's isn't fine. it? Whoopsie. <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> classic, though. Absolutely yeah. classic. But it's like an action. Yeah, no. It's, it's an action horror movie. Than a horror movie. It's yeah. a monster movie, yeah. so it's but still it's a monster yeah. movie. It counts. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, does, so that's why it does belong on the list. But I didn't want to put it like top twenty. You didn't want us to notice it, is what you're. I, I you really want to say. Now. This is not an objective <laughs> list. This is all <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a secret play behind James. <laughs> Speaking of of me, Delbert Grady is Speaking the next pick. <laughs> really smooth that way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite topics. <laughs> All right. Well, wow, still so many good movies on the list. I'm going to go with. Whew, um, wow, so many bangers are left. I'm going to go with. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Nice. Great pick. I think it's just uh, yeah, in the great. horror genre, one of the best ever. Great Nothing pick. has ever been made that's like it. I mean, the sequels, they try to recapture it, but it's so unique. 
and so creepy on a level that I've never seen done before. In it a changed film like horror. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just just the shots of the production design of the yeah. house, stuff yeah. like that. Before you even get to Leatherface, it's just oh. disgusting. Did you know that McConaughey was in one of the yes. sequels in like the 90s? And he's he was it, a member of the family? The That's sequel? right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was a member I of the family. Really... Yeah. In oh, the sorry. 90s. Please, like the 1993 yes, one, I yes, think, I remember like that because I was like, "Oh, it came yeah. out the year I was born! How exciting!" <laughs> um, but I was looking into like all of the sequels because I don't. I've just seen the OG Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the 2000s remake, and then the most recent one that is very contentious. Mm. Um, but I thought was fun <laughs> in a bad way and in a good way. Um, but anyway. But I saw that with Matthew McConaughey, and I saw a clip from it, and I'm like, I don't know if I can handle whatever one of these ones he's in. It seems like he's going off the wall. He's great, dude, but it's he's ridiculous. Got such range. I, I remember liking the yeah. That guy can do anything. He always he always had the potential in the great. He had great performances, but people forgot when he was just doing rom coms. But he had a lot of great ones under his belt already mm -hmm. in the '90s. Awesome. All right. Let's move on to Chelsea. We are the Stafford wife, guys. And how about do one pick, and then we'll recap everyone's teams because okay. then we'll all have three, and then we'll finish up with your next okay. pick. How's that sound? Um, right plan. now, I feel like, not that there are boy movies and girl movies, but I feel like I have a lot of boy movies on my list. So I'd like a girl movie. So I'm going to pick Carrie. Oh, I wanted that. Great uh, pick. Great, great I pick. love that yeah, movie. I mean, I just... The ending. I saw uh, it. Um, it's so good. Synespia did a screening of it last October. Um, and my friend was sort of involved with it on like a PR collaboration with Taco Bell. Oh, Jack in the Box, excuse me. They gave me a sweatshirt, so I should shout them out. I'm not the <laughs> wrong company. Um, but so we got to sit in the <laughs> VIP section and like we had the little recliner pillows they set up for you Ooh. and they gave us and it was like a fine nice. misty rain coming down while we were watching the movie. It was like the perfect atmosphere for it. It was so good. Love it. Very yeah. cool. Did they end it with Yeah, like, they blood they all dumped all blood you? all over us. It was crazy. <laughs> crazy. Dream. Sure everyone loved that. And then, and then they asked you to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> and then they lit it all up. Oh, fire. by the way, can you clean this up? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we are done with three rounds of wow. drafting. How about I'll recap each team and we'll get going after that. Sounds so good. The Polter guys, their team, Anthony, is The Exorcist, Jaws, and The Shining. Oh, Nothing but classics Pretty there. Good. Monica's Christine and the Scream Queens has The Thing, Possession, and Rocky Picture Horror Show. Rocky Excellent. Horror Picture Show. Sydney's <laughs> <laughs> Sparkle Motion has The Evil Dead, Suspiria, and oh, Predator. Nice. James has, Delbert Grady has Alien, Rosemary's Baby, and The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then Chelsea has Invasion of the Body Snatchers, aka We Are the Separate Wife Guys, An American Werewolf in London, and Carrie. Everyone's got yeah. amazing teams. Great team so far. Yeah. We're going to thin out, though, later yeah. in this draft. It's oh <laughs> going to get deep now. Yeah. So, Chelsea, <laughs> kick off round four for us, yeah, please. Yeah, I'm staying on my next... girly beat. Um, I also feel like I have to have this one because of my name. I don't want somebody else to snake it before I can get it. Um, and so, the, the Polter guys, you, you should be careful over there. Um, but I'm going to grab the <laughs> Stepford Wives because I just think it would be wrong for that to be on a different team. Hey, it's also yeah. a great oh, movie, yeah. too. It's so unique. It's so I feel depressing. like I saw the remake first when it came out in theaters, um, and I only watched the 70s one, like, last night. Um, so maybe I'm remembering wrong. <laughs> oh, isn't yeah, that Nicole Kidman in, that? in the new one? But I feel like yeah, the old yeah, one right, is yeah. way more feminist than the new one. I feel like the new one, from what I remember, really s sanded off a lot of those rough edges. Um, so... I don't know. I gotta give my loyalty. Well, she she was in movies. She was in, she was in two remakes that ruined the originals. She was in that, and then she was also in the Invasion of the there Body Snatchers. But reading. she's also in the AMC what? Welcome to the Theater yeah. ad, so you, she can kind of do whatever she wants. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, I love her. I'm just, magic, I'm just saying. So I'm just saying those two movies I were. We all make mistakes. We all have those not know about an Invasion of the Body Snatchers remake. So the, it, it was. It's just called the Invasion. Daniel Craig's in it, right? It's just the Invasion. Ooh. Yeah. And then, well, I mean, um, you're, like the the Donald Sutherland. I think she would tell Asia Force in it too. The Donald Sutherland one. Yeah, that's a remake as well. Yeah, because it was. 
So it there's is one really before that. Yeah. Yeah. The 50s, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Oh, the 70s yeah, one is so Yeah, something like that. Good. But uh, the Daniel Craig one's mm, not that great. Bad yeah. for him. You know, with two superstars, <laughs> you thought we could the get invasion. something going there. But, you know, we can't all have winners all the time. I think she's got a couple <laughs> stinkers. Mm-mm. 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 All right. Yeah, death. <laughs> but she is uh, an all-timer, though. <laughs> all right. I am next with my fourth pick. And Delbert Grady selects no! House. Oh, okay. Which is one that I wanted to really make sure I get. I fell in love with this movie this year. It is crazy surreal and messed up and a total trip. Also hysterical. Mm-hmm. Just great, great Japanese horror. And I loved it. And I'm just, I just wanted to make sure I get it. There's nothing Seriously. like it. Seriously. It's wild. I've been wanting to watch it for it's ages. Pick, so I'm it so in. glad it was on this list. I finally had the time to do it. Wow. Yeah. It was so Isn't bonkers. It, bonkers? it was beautiful. I was laughing out loud. It made my day. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I'm going to make us do it on the pod. <laughs> All right. Next up. You should. It's great. Sydney, Sparkle Motion. Who are you taking your fourth pick? I'm going to do <gasps> The Lost Boys. Nice. Hey. Four. Listen, I have hot, wet fantasies about the oh. sexy saxophone man and chelsea don't make I that face know because i know you do too saxophone man when you start that sentence sexy saxophone he's man he steals the show and here's the thing he steals the show but also i love the fun fact of uh Kiefer sutherland oh yeah and the shredded guy playing sax he was like, what the hell are you talking about the show. <laughs> and he's like oiled up like it's perfect but he looks like a whole, wrestler. Like, he's in spandex. Uh, the whole drama with like Kiefer Sutherland and what's the Jason guy? Patrick My, uh, Michael. Like yes, him. Mm-hmm. Jason uh, Patrick, yeah. Kiefer Sutherland was engaged to Julia Roberts at the time. And then uh, she left Kiefer Sutherland and <gasps> ran off with Jason Patrick, okay, who was Kiefer <gasps> Sutherland's best friend. Wow. Oh, my God. Whoa. I don't know. Damn. Wild. While they were filming? No, she like after, waited a polite after, amount like, of time. They became like really good friends <laughs> on this set. This is where the spark Oh my god. Oh yeah. And they first fell in love. Wow, that sucks for him. <laughs> He's Poor like, kid. now that I'm not ruining wow. your movie, I think it's time to run away together. <laughs> <laughs> he respects the art, but not the relationship. Damn. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Damn. What great pick though. Crazy <laughs> anecdote. Thanks for sharing that. Christine and the Scream Queens. Okay. <laughs> Monica, who are you taking Again, with your fourth I'm, pick? I'm, I'm going for the deep cut. You took House, and I'm like, okay, I can't wait any longer. I'm taking The Wicker Man because it blew my mind. That's what I started nice. off my movie marathon with was The Wicker Man. Um, and I obviously had seen the Nicolas Cage one because I'm a huge <laughs> Nicolas Cage, Cage fan. Um, yeah, bees. and not the bees. I was trying to get us to do the Nicolas Cage one all this spring, and it didn't happen. Um, but I put my foot down, and I have now demanded that we do the OG Wicker Man uh, for May Day next year because this just, oh, my God. This, like, wrote the book of folk horror. This was absolutely unbelievable. It's so, like, I'm a, a huge fan of Ari Aster. I love, 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 love Midsummer, And it's so interesting to see, like, where he got, like, half the ideas from. Very different movies, of course. But, like, yeah. it's obviously taking yeah. uh, inspiration from The Wicker Man. And, it, like, I mean, no one does it better. It's weirdly, like, almost a musical, um, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, there is a great deal of singing in it. And all the songs slap. <laughs> 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 it, like, I don't know. I, I loved it. So that's like one of my favorite movies. And, and Sarah huh? Mon's in it. Sarah Mon's oh, yeah. in it. Oh, my God. Lee. Christopher his Lee's hair in, in that is so yeah. poofy. Yeah, his hair is crazy. Poofy yeah. thing going on. It looks great. <laughs> that that guy's had a voice. That yeah. guy's voice oh, is incredible. It, it was, watch it if you haven't seen it. That's all I got to say. All right. Anthony, the Poltergeist oh, is up next. Who are you taking with your <sighs> fourth pick? Ooh, I got to take A Nightmare on Elm Street. All it's right. one of my favorite horror movies. Still chilling there. Not Smash anymore. That. I'm surprised it I'm surprised it lasted that long. Freddy yes, was I like love the long arms. arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> Anthony actually has a swing oh. pick. And I, I mean what it was, that movie's so inventive and creative and uh, the production mm. design and the camera work and cinematography and it's really it's so surrealist. I love that because you know, dreams, anything can happen in them and they really just threw everything at the at the at the wall for that movie and it's so incredible to behold 
every time I watch it, it still holds up so well. And, and it you- has one of the best scenes ever, which is Johnny Depp in a crop top. A and geyser. A geyser. <laughs> yes. geyser. Look yes. at that belly button. Look at his belly button. <laughs> Listen, men should wear crop tops, and bring that is a hill I will die That's a good word on this Honestly, platform. You guys can yeah. start yeah. that. You, you guys mind, can if you don't bring mind the that hair. men yeah. in crop tops. <laughs> we're, we're Italian. Yeah, I don't know. If you don't yeah. mind the hair. No yeah. one's asking you to <laughs> wax your Italians chest. Don't. Please. <laughs> See, I think they want to. True. No, 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 we want to try to hair. Hair. <laughs> It's there for a reason. Anthony, you have a swing pick, actually. Yeah, so you, is, what do you take tough. with your fifth pick? I'm trying to. <sighs> There's tough. a lot of good ones left. Tough. But I know that they're going to be gone soon, you know? So like, I do you s- go with, like, a high-ranked one or, like, a banger in the deep tracks? I think I might go with, a, like, a deeper track. Well, I mean, this isn't even a deep track, but, you know, I love the movie. Um, I'm going to go with... Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> Beetlejuice. 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 Oh. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Great pick. Oh. Beetlejuice. 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 Careful. Yep. Uh, oh my God. I'm happy, watch I, out. I'm happy I got and it. And timely. <laughs> I know, right? Timely with the, the redo watch or the sequel mouth. coming out or being in production. Yeah, I just got to take that. Right yeah. Love her. Yeah, budding scream queen Jenna Ortega, or she's already. Established. I think she's fully established. Yeah, she's at this fully point. established. I'm so sorry to yeah. lessen her um, influence. <laughs> Hey, she's a Patreon member, okay? Oh, nice. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we love her. No, oh. she's not. Anthony's lying. I <laughs> love to lie. Wow. Oh, yeah, she guys. doesn't. <laughs> love to lie. That's something you should know about Anthony. Okay. He's <laughs> a liar. That's not true I've at all. I love you so much. It's called it. We yeah. love people that lie. They put you're, the, you're the one who skipped over The Shining. <laughs> We're all being a little shady so we can win the draft, okay? We can be honest with ourselves. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Monica, Christine, and the Scream Queens. Your fifth pick is up I'm now. Coming in. You okay, I, after watching all of these movies, um, I saw a lot of Cronenberg films that I had not seen before, and I like nice, well, nice. one of them. I saw half of it, but I fell asleep, and so now I've seen the whole thing. Anyway, uh, <laughs> weirdly, my favorite one is not the <laughs> top one, and I like it way, way better than the other two. He does this sort of like. Um, political unrest conspiracy theory thing and i like to keep it simple i like it when a man does science and he accidentally turns into a fly so i'm doing the fly <laughs> yeah i love, I love it it's great, it's great and Davis. Mm-hmm. oh yeah speaking of men with oh, chest hair yeah. jeff gold oh, yeah. chest hair oh yeah oh yeah. There's a lot of I, chest hair in that movie. He's done a lot for us guys. He's very sweaty oh, in pretty yeah. much that entire movie. He's I just, just covered I in sweat. I love body horror when it's done in a certain way, especially in a, in a practical effects realm, you know, when they use, you know, modern day stuff. It looks too mm. real sometimes. But uh, yeah, I, I love it. practical I effects it. and mm. it's just, oh, this one was disgusting and I loved every second of it. Oh, great film. Great pick. Great selection. Sydney, you're up next. Sparkle Motion. Okay. I'm going with the first horror movie that I ever saw when I was six, and that is Halloween. Nice. Hey. Nice. I almost well, took it. Did it. And it's hers now. Wow. We would have we would have fought. <laughs> yeah, you guys were fighting. How, how'd you react to it when you were six years old seeing Halloween? That's, yeah, that's young. I loved it, clearly. <laughs> um, it definitely warped my brain in arguably the best way ever maybe not who knows <laughs> but just like the music uh michael myers is dramatic he's like carrying a tombstone putting it on the bed like <laughs> he's really setting the scene yeah he's extra. setting up bodies he's he's artistic he's vision. like oh we love yeah <laughs> and nothing can stop the vision he commits I, have a vision. It. I love it great selection you never look at a kitchen knife the same way after you see halloween no never way. No way. And I think it was this. It was the same year. So I saw, I went to a Kiss concert, saw my first pair of <gasps> oh boobs my God, good on for screen. You. <laughs> and Halloween was the second pair of boobs that I ever saw wow. on the screen. So you, you went to see Kiss when you were younger than six years old. That's awesome. Yeah, my dad was maybe not a. <laughs> 
responsible adult parent. Hey. <laughs> Sounds you like seem a cool fine. Guy. Yeah, you seem, yeah, you seem, like, yeah. We have four older well brothers, adjusted. so we were seeing stuff we shouldn't have been seeing when we yeah, were like, three, our, our brothers old. would show us all these movies when we were kids. Like I had nightmares of Chucky from age five. That's yeah, appropriate. Like yeah. Last year they were showing us Freddy and Chuck. <laughs> yeah, Freddy yeah. and Chucky. When See, we were kids, this is why I had 26 <laughs> movies to watch. I'm an only child, so I didn't have anyone to corrupt me in my youth ah. and my parents. Do not fuck with horror at all. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you have a horror podcast? Yeah, my dad's like, it's so interesting that you can handle all that negativity all the time. He literally said that to me like two days ago because I, I told him about the movie Marathon. He was like, are you okay? And I'm like, yes, I'm fine. You're like, you're like relishing yeah. in all the blood and guts doesn't and he doesn't understand. <laughs> It's fun. All right. I'm up Delbert Grady with my fifth pick. I'm going to take, I think there's only one zombie movie on no here. Way. I think there's two. There's a couple. A couple. Yeah. There's, there's a couple. Two. There's a couple. There's a couple, yeah. yeah. I'm taking Dawn of nice. the Dead. Nice pick. It's still there. I'm just going to take it. It's an all-timer. It's a classic. And I didn't get one of like the iconic horror icons, really, but I got- There's still a couple yeah. icons left. Yeah, there's still a few. They might yeah. they might stay. They might stay, but I, I feel like I had to get the zombie Dawn one. Dawn of the, the Dead. Time. Cool. It's a, it started the genre. Yeah, it really did. It's, it's, started it's the a genre. really yeah. special movie. And I it's think awesome. that that one episode right. of Last of Us was definitely inspired by Dawn of the Dead. That takes place in the mall. Yeah. The mall. I, I just... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, never I was like, that must uh, have yeah, been an homage. Right. Yeah, I, think that, I yeah. love that. Yeah. So that's <laughs> Left Behind. That's actually in the original. Well, they did a re-release of the game back in, what was it, 2013. So that was like originally back in like 2014. They made that part of the game. And then they made it into an oh, episode cool. of the show, which is really cool. Oh. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That show made yeah. me cry so much. So that's in the original movie. <laughs> oh, it's, it's an excellent show. Yeah, it was a good show. All right. Show. Chelsea's up. We are the Stepford guys. Your fifth pick. Actually, you have the swing, so you get two um, picks in a row. Who's I am frankly shocked that yeah. Sydney hasn't snatched this up yet. I guess she thought it would be safe, but she left it for the taking. So I'm going to take <laughs> Black Christmas. Oh, no. Nice. No, I thought for sure that was going to be the first on your list, and you left it undefended. I thought uh, I very generously gave you some time, um, didn't snake it out from underneath you, but <laughs> this is the way it goes. I had to bully That's them life. to do Black Christmas on the podcast because they were like, we have never seen this before. And I was like, it's an incredible <laughs> it, film. It, it's yeah. so good. That, that and The Hills Have Eyes, they changed the genre to being really gory. That, yeah. Those two movies in particular. But I, I mean, we loved it. Sydney had seen it a lot already, um, but it was really fun to watch. And again, um, if you are a little bit of an unhinged shipper, it's just like Jess and Phil should be girlfriends. And they're oh, yeah. so girlfriend the whole movie. Um, mm -hmm. And I just love that. I'm obsessed with that. So The new one's pretty good. The new new one or the Mary Elizabeth I refuse to watch new the new ones. The new new one, the new one with the uh, Imogen I didn't Poots love it. and a few other actresses. It was pretty good. I mean, I, very it's, much yeah, a different it's not movie. A great horror movie, but it was, yeah, 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 yeah. How many horror remakes is uh, one? Oh, she loves the remake. The thing yeah, remake, yeah. Like a, she loves the yeah, remake. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> yeah, technically it's a prequel. She talked though. to her agent. She's like, <laughs> only remakes. <laughs> <laughs> if it's or, not a remake, it better be a fucking sequel. It better be a prequel with it's the same name. Her, yeah, <laughs> Chloe Grace Moretz. Only yeah, legit, legit. Legit. I joked about doing a I Chloe say, Grace Moretz I, oh remake God. month on the pod, but there's like, material for it. <laughs> some of them maybe are really bad. I, I, uh, it's. Uh, I love Andrea Arnold, the director, but Carrie, it was just mm. so bad. I couldn't. I I was yeah, so I disappointed in it. Sometimes you don't need a remake. It was such. It was such a bad. It was just yeah. unmemorable. Yeah. A yeah. lot of the remakes are very unmemorable. And it was, yeah, it was like, just like rewatch value yeah. is gone. It was literally like shot for shot, the same thing. And Julianne Moore is like good. In her, she's great, but like I was just like, it's, it's just so the same movie. It's so interesting watching some of these like originals now, where I've seen the remakes. The two thousands, they just did the exact same thing, and then they just made all the parts that are already very hard to watch more hard to watch. I'm talking yeah. to you, the last house on the left. Mm. It was already <laughs> bad in the yeah. 70s and they made it so much fucking worse. Dear God. <laughs> Wasn't that garbage on Jennifer Dispo Lawrence? Yeah, the, the garbage disposal, right? Oh, it's Jennifer Jennifer Lawrence? It's Sarah Paxton, is isn't it? Movie? It's Aquamarine. Oh, no, yeah. Right? Last House on the Left remake. I'm pretty sure. Last actually... House on the Left, what yeah. Is what is Jennifer Lawrence. Aquamarine. Yeah. I'm thinking That's of a, a different very one. very similar premise. 
He might have. <laughs> What's the one that Aaron Paul is in a re horror Sarah remake? Sarah Paxton is in The also. Last House on the Left. What's Jennifer Lawrence in? He's She's in a horror remake. Jennifer Something Lawrence was about in a house. The Last House on the Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a word yeah. house in it. I know what you're talking about. But I'm yeah. not Googling it. <laughs> It was yeah. before she was really famous. Is is right after uh, yes. the house at the end of yes. the street. Yes. yes, that's what uh, it is. The house on the corner of the of the street <laughs> near the neighborhood near the roundabout in the cul de sac. <laughs> 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 the cul -de -sac. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible name. Yeah, they... Chelsea, you get a, a swing pick too. I know, um, um, and I did. I did yeah. warn you, the poltergeist. Um, but I have to take poltergeist. I think. <sighs> I um I saw it for the first time in the fall and um they made fun of me when I said this on our episode but like the layout of the home <laughs> is very similar to my childhood home and it's not far away and like the neighborhoods were built at the same it felt very cozy <laughs> to me like it felt like very nicely reminiscent of my childhood brought me right back was your neighborhood it built on be. a graveyard I <laughs> no funny happening so far but we're still crossing our fingers <laughs> <laughs> that movie's surprisingly hysterical. It's too. so it's so funny. Yeah. It's just an all around entertaining movie. Like it hits every beat. Perfectly. And like the swimming it's pool so good. part at the oh. end. Woof. Real yeah. bodies. Oh my god. Yes, the real that bodies. Is so cursed. Yeah. Why would you do yeah. that? Because <laughs> they could get away with it. That's a terrible <laughs> Those idea. Things back Way then. to make your own haunted they actually, film. They, did, they, did they a, said these dead bodies are the, the reason this house is haunted, and <laughs> we're also gonna use them in our business. Like. It's because they were they were cheaper than making prosthetics. That's what bodies. they did on the Pirates That's of the Caribbean true. ride at Disney too. But yeah, they had really real wow, they're dead real bodies. bodies in there. Skeletons, at yeah. First. They were just like they were like dead bodies that they had to replace every weekend. <laughs> I was gonna be like that smell that would smell horrible. Skeletons. We need some more dead bodies out here. Skeletons. 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 All right. Don't bleeding, smell. My bad. Imagine if, like, you found out that, like, if you're, like, in the afterlife and you found out that your your skeleton is being Just used as, as an amusement oh, park, maybe, like, oh as a I puppet. I would love to the park down. so much, and they're like, I bequeath Talk about my disrespecting the dead. To Walt Disney I'm himself. not going to donate oh my, my body to science. I'm going to donate it to horror. <laughs> to Universal Horror Nights. <laughs> Monica, can I oh, have your spell? Benji? I'm trying to convince everybody. I want to like just have like a display of all the skulls of my loved ones in my you. house. Okay, if I die first, yeah, but Damn. if you die thank first, you. I get yours. You want you want like your okay, thank you. You want your home to be like the yeah. catacombs in Paris? Yeah, oh, maybe, literally, maybe. that would be my ideal home decor. I would maybe. feel. Chelsea was like, the Poltergeist house is so cozy. I want you to do the that just Paris so you can see what so would your cozy. dad's reaction be to seeing that. Well, considering that my father has already said no to leaving me his skull, Not which I think is yeah. rude of him. Wrong. Uh, <laughs> maybe Selfish. showing you Halloween at age six like was not the best idea. Like he put her on this path. Yeah. This is his fault. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. My turn. Delbert Grady's sixth pick mm -hmm. is no! going to be Gremlins. Ooh. Ooh. I love this movie. It's a great Christmas movie. movie one of the all-time best. I love and that. I love it. I love Gremlins. And our, my first cat, our first cat, <gasps> I named Gizmo. Gizmo. Yeah, after, yeah. after Gizmo. she was cute. Yeah, because I love Gizmo this movie. Gizmo was a cutie. I love. It's all practical. Chris I Columbus wrote this movie. Um, yeah. I can't remember who directed. It. I can't yeah. remember. Joe Dante directed it. Joe Dante. That's right. But um, I think it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. He. I actually watched this on Christmas this past Christmas, and it was yeah. perfect. I <laughs> had I drank half a bottle of wine and watched Gremlins. It was I great. Love it. I love Gizmo so much. It's one of my How favorite. How did that idea. Santa oh, scene monsters, yeah. hit on Christmas while drunk? Even right. better. <laughs> love that Even better. story. That was, Even that better. was <laughs> <laughs> This isn't this the movie that gave us PG thirteen ratings? That was Temple oh. of Doom. Temple of uh, Doom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So another Spielberg production. Yeah. Because even Jaws was PG. Yeah. But it was like the tearing people's hearts out of their chest that people were like, oh my God, get my kids to see this <laughs> like, movie. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Uh. A little much. A little All right. Much for, for the for the kitties. Sydney, sparkle motion. You're on your okay. sixth, pick. sixth pick. Well, since Chelsea took the one that I wanted and you took the other Christmas movie, <laughs> I'm going to go with Deep Red because uh, there is a Christmas murder. Uh, <laughs> this is a holiday damn. themed episode. So good. I was <laughs> feeling in the mood and I this was another one that I hadn't seen and I had a really great time watching it. 
I love um some of those Italian horror films. Nobody speaks <laughs> <Yes>. Italian. <laughs> <laughs> right. I feel like they're all American and English actors. I feel actors. like Dario was like the, the most like um popular director from those, so maybe that's why he got the the English speaking actors in there or something. It got yeah, them the best box get, office. Yeah. He's playing yeah. the studio game. So they could distribute yeah. it in America. That's what Yeah, it's just I'm so like, how they, it's so they could release mm -hmm, it here. Totally. The music is just like so fun. It's and Goblin again. Like, Goblin does the music with Goblin's so great. great. I got to yeah. see them live last fall. And then that window oh kill. God. Oh my god! Like it's just so good. That's yeah, great choice. Great pick. All right, Christine okay. in the Scream Queens. Monica, I just have a question, and it's pick? not my pick yet. I just need to consider this because I'm shocked that it's still on the list. Is Friday the Thirteenth has that been claimed uh -huh. yet? And okay. not yet been claimed. Well, I'm I'm going to claim it, still it there. Um, just because I feel like I should. It looks so lonely up there in the top 13 all alone. <laughs> um, it's not even one of my favorites. I'm not a huge fan of like the big three or big four if you're including Leatherface. Um, but Friday the 13th is super fun. Um, we love camp. Kevin yeah, Bacon said it is Bacon. gorgeous. <laughs> we just did. They slashed them. Also yes. killed in bed. <laughs> right. All, all these hunks no, killed in I bed. Know. Oh, and I loved that uh, that practical effect. Yes, it's just that the fake chest. Yeah. <laughs> just this. But um, I I see what you mean because out of the big three, I think Freddy Krueger yes. is by far the best. Most, yeah. most interesting like by yeah. far out of over for over sure. Mike Myers and, but the and Jason. But the Halloween franchise is most iconic. But the Halloween is just like it's so it's lost so much steam because it's so yeah. overdone. Uh, there's yeah. so over there's so and many the of last... them. Yeah. And it's just the same repetitive. There's thing. only so much personality that Mike Myers has. Yeah, well, Freddy. yeah, they don't yeah. say anything. They just kind of like stomp around and never <laughs> fucking <laughs> die, which pisses me off. Yeah. At least uh, Freddy, you know, yeah. like goes away for a while. He's yeah. like Freddy's in the dream fun. realm. Evil it's tonight. different. Yeah. Evil yeah. yeah. It <laughs> makes sense that he's unkillable. But if you exist in reality, I mean, <laughs> you yeah. should be a little yeah. more easier exactly. to take down. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I love what they yeah. do. I love the the makeup. Um, in that. Oh, sorry. I started talking about Nightmare on Elm Street because I got excited <laughs> about it. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I'm, just, You're I'm, Friday, the I'm just doing it. Okay. Whatever. I'm just doing it because. That also that little like uh, fake out ending iconic. Mm -hmm. It's legendary. Yeah, it's a legendary movie. It's a big franchise. Good pick. Great pick actually. <laughs> All right, next up, Anthony Polter up. guys, you got a swing pick over here. All guys. right. Oh my god. Two in a row. What's <laughs> it gonna be? Oh man. I'm gonna go with. Ooh. I mean, I really mm. like that movie. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> actually, I'll do one pick. And then I'll recap everyone's teams because we'll have six each. And then we'll do your second pick. Sounds wonderful. I'm going to go with Little Shop of Horrors. You said that the oh, second I thought God. I should choose that one next. <laughs> so weird. That was I, heard, you I heard your thought. Right I heard your thought. Connected okay. to you right now. <laughs> That's a sleeper, man. That is a sleeper pick. Yeah, down at 44, James is hiding it. I just think it, <laughs> it's you. so fun. And also, it is horrific. But then Steve Martin coming out of nowhere <laughs> and just fucking stealing the show. It's unbelievable. It's, it's so good. Great music. It's too. A, it is great an incredible musical. musical. Yeah. yeah. It's the only musical on the list. Yeah. Do you have preference for which ending? You know. The different endings? Preference for what? Oh. What's the other ending? I I'm got. I'm not sure I've seen. Can I tell him or do you want to? Yeah. Tell him? No, please. Okay. Well, yeah, hold on. Go spoiler on, warning for all the listeners. So there's a, <laughs> an, alternate an alternate ending, ending to it. I'd always seen the. I saw the actual musical first because I love musical theater. We all do. Uh -huh. Um, and so I mm -hmm. went and watched this movie for the first time last year, and I was getting all ready to cry hysterically. Spoiler alert: the real ending, that's what I'm going to refer to it as, is hella fucking sad. And then I watched the movie, and I was like, "What's this happy shit where they're all alive and everything's good in the end?" <laughs> or, I mean, there's kind of some. But yeah, there's a whole uh -huh. other ending. That where it doesn't go so well, like that. and they shot the entire thing, and there's this insane, crazy, like Armageddon kind of shit going on that they filmed it all, um, but they tested it with audiences, and they hated it because it didn't have a happy ending, and so they reshot it. Oh, is it when he's yeah, gigantic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I've seen it. So, I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it's so it. awesome. Yeah. The, uh, they finally found the I footage like and you kind of put it up. back together. It's not like perfect because a lot of it yeah. got like lost on the cutting room floor, as they say. Um, but yeah, uh-huh. that's the real ending, if you ask me. Yeah. I've watched the last time I watched it, it was that ending. Um, whatever one I watched on Amazon Prime and had that ending. Yeah, well, I'm glad that we're living in an era that like studios aren't afraid to have well, unhappy it's crazy. endings at the end of movies. I, so I think many of the great, 70s yeah. and 80s movies yeah. just have like a really bleak fucking ending. Um, yeah. Some of the ones on my list, I was thinking yeah. about when I was yeah. picking my my name being like team question authority because so many of them are just like people are lying to you mm-hmm. and the end of the movie is don't trust the government uh ah <laughs> <laughs> video drum and scanners those are two of those yeah. so many of them though yeah. um, and that's why i'm so surprised when they didn't like that kind of ending which was like the canonical ending for a little shop of horrors but i guess with the musical vibes maybe People were expecting it to be cheerier. I don't know. You can sing when you're sad in yeah, case you wanted to <laughs> Wrong. know. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Screw the happy ending. Screw it. All right. How about we recap everyone's teams before we continue with the seventh round? Sounds so, good. Anthony, the Polter guys, has a great team of The Exorcist, Jaws, The Shining, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Beetlejuice, and The Little Shop of Horrors. Monica's Killing It, Christine in the Scream Queens, The Thing, Possession, Rocky Picture Horror Show, The Wicker Man, The Fly, and Friday the 13th. Sydney and Sparkle Motion have a terrific team. The Evil Dead, Suspiria, Predator, The Lost Boys, Halloween, and Deep Red. My team, Delbert Grady, is Alien, Rosemary's Baby, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, House, Dawn of the Dead and Gremlins. And then Chelsea's finishing us off with We Are the Stepford Wives Guys, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, An American Werewolf in London, Carrie, The Stepford Wives, Black Christmas, and Poltergeist. Everyone, just give yourself a round of applause. Everyone's doing great. These teams are phenomenal. I'm happy with my team so far. I'm so good. Yeah, Do too. I think I'm going to win? No. Great They're all so different. It's... They're also really different. Dear to my heart. <laughs> I like how unique everyone's team is too. Yeah. Yeah, they are all. Everyone's just bouncing all over yeah. the place. I like it. All right, Anthony, you're you're starting off round seven with your swing pick. Who are you taking? I've been I've been eyeing the list <laughs> the whole time. I'm just like I'm not <laughs> sure. Oh my it's god. Get hard now. I gotta. I can't walk away from this without taking a Cronenberg movie. So I'm going video drone. Video drone, man. That really shit was crazy. That. <laughs> really wild, huh? That. Isn't that oh, wild? Oh man, that was. When he does body horror, he does it, man. Wow. <laughs> it's such it. a trip. Is that the one yes. with Debbie Harry? Yes. In it? Block. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could say that. Um, What's the new one he made called? Um, Crimes of the Future. Oh, yeah. It's kind of sim- It's like you can see as a sequel almost to Similar this movie, themes. You know what I mean? It's you can. I mean, yeah. He also made a movie called The Crimes of the Future in the 70s. No way. Did you really? Yeah. I didn't know that. People thought that this the new one was a remake of his own movie. He's like, no, it's just the same title. Same title? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, it's just the same title. I mean, he's a weird guy. So want. I, I love his, his movies. son also is so. doing some freaky shit right yeah. now. Exactly. I saw Infinity Pool. That was wild. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Freaking trip, dude. Freaking trip. It, the apple did not fall far from the tree yeah. of weirdness. Seriously, he's like, good way. Dad's doing freak shit. I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do freak shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Monica, Christine, and the Scream Queens. Who are you taking? I'm gonna let with you know right now. Pick? I feel panic at this point. <laughs> 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 I'm like, uh, um, okay, I'm like, do I go with my heart? It's harder or now. I'm going with my heart. Like you have whatever. to. Like I liked the Dead Zone a lot, but I'm not choosing that. I can't do it. Um. <laughs> it's so hard. It's between. Mm, okay, I'm doing Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Uh, <laughs> ah, ah, I gotta do it. Pick. I mean, I, I was trying to choose other things, but in my head, I was just hearing the freaking uh, theme song, the greatest theme song of all time. They that that movie is. 
It's weird as fuck. It has an OT3, which we love. Yes. It's literally yeah, a beautiful love. poly, like a legitimate polyamorous yeah. couple occurs in this film. Um, and also, um, like, they really got so creative with all the things that you could make scary about a clown or make silly about a clown. Like, they, they did it. They hit it all. Everything. I don't think they left anything out. So The balloon amazing. animal dog is so iconic. Balloon animal dog, yeah, the pies that that melt the you. shadow, shadow puppet. puppets. Thing. Yeah, yes. I I can't believe I Chelsea was... didn't get that because you know Chelsea loves a good uh. Cr- no, <laughs> that's cream pie don't say that. Um, <laughs> I wanted it. I did want it. I wanted it on my list, but you know that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm gonna be really Sorry, beacha. Um, <laughs> that's the way the cookie crumbles. About it. Our brothers would show us that movie all the time. And this is why I was yeah. afraid of clowns when I was a kid. Because it's of this movie. The brothers and shows it. this at a very <laughs> They're not real clowns. Does yeah, that make this you is feel better? They're lot. aliens. Yeah. They just yeah, look they're like aliens. that. They're well, aliens. I, know, I know Chucky's not real. <laughs> yeah, they're aliens, bro. Even balloons, I was like wary of because of this movie. Hot and candy. It was just over Great for pick. you for life. Hot <laughs> and candy yeah. is menacing. Those red noses. All right. Sydney, sparkle motion. Who okay, are you taking next? I- I am going with a staple on my middle school sleepover, uh, like movie list, and that yeah. is Young Frankenstein. Nice, nice. pick. Good one. Great pick. That was bolded that on my so list. Funny. I guess I'll just unbold it. Thirteen-year-old Sydney had incredible. Thirteen-year-old Sydney and my dad <laughs> would like exactly. really get along. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> that's Gene mm-hmm. Wilder, right? Gene Wilder, yeah. and Wilder, it's black and white, and he's too. very handsome in that, just saying. I was like, wow, I think I he's have awesome. a thing for Gene Wilder now, which is a new thing for me. <laughs> well, who doesn't have a thing for I hadn't realized it until this week. <laughs> <laughs> Man, all right, I'm up with my seventh pick. This is getting tough, everybody. This is getting tough. So many good options are left, though. Like, I feel like I want to get a vampire movie mm. oh, up in Oh, my here. God. I'm prepared to roast you. There are a couple of good ones. <laughs> 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 I think I'm going to go mm. oh, okay. Dark. Good. That was the right nice. pick. Nice. That was the right pick. Catherine Bigelow. It's not the right yeah. pick, because what if I wanted it? I think it? this is one of my favorite. Okay, well, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite Catherine Bigelow movies. It's just such a trip, and I love, like, the 80s cliche horror movies, but just like a cool version of vampires and everyone's awesome in this movie. And I, I think it's such a trip and it's just a blast. And I, I love like it's like a time machine the from that era. I love aspect it. of it. The bar scene. Yeah. Vampire, Vampire Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah. Bill oh, Paxton. So Bill Paxton's great. awesome in freaking everything. Great choice. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Next up, Chelsea. We are the Stepford Wife <laughs> guys. <laughs> Has a swing pick here. You yeah, I'm, I'm really picks. evaluating my options because I feel like that round wiped through a lot of the ones where I was like preparing to to go for it. Um, but Destroy I think your strategy. I know. I'm like. You, you forgot we all have I, exquisite well, taste. Well, so just the there's there's we're deep into the list now. You know what I mean? Our teams are pretty full. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I feel oh, yeah. like um, I want to go for my first pick with piranha um because that's also another question authority one and i had a lot of fun with that one recently and also i love the remix i <laughs> loved piranha 3d and piranha 3 double d <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i remember that, that. Was a fun <laughs> era for horror with it. yeah <laughs> Sharknado era. Right. They're were, they were just like, fuck it. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I, it. I, it was so interesting to watch the original for the first time, which again is very um, political in a lot of ways. And the, the new one is so not that. It's so just like, what if a crevice in the earth opened up and these fish came out? And it's like, that's fun. <laughs> but it's also fun for this to be like a man-made okay, but- horror. So... <laughs> Yeah. It could okay, happen, and I'm happen, ready for Chelsea. it at any you know. moment. Um, <laughs> Bottom of the sea is terrifying thing. Ready for it. Okay, let me see. <laughs> There's an ocean within the earth, and those scary fish they like could come into our they ocean wow. and eat us. It's in the earth's crust? It was like a deep yeah. underground There's like a second ocean. lake or something like that. Unless oh. you're talking about real life now. You're talking, oh my gosh. Well, I'm no... <laughs> 
<laughs> Geologist? I'm gonna have to Is look this into like this. one yeah, of those conspiracy theories where yeah. the dinosaurs are still alive, but they're deep, deep down under the Earth's crust? And That's we true, to, like, though. I think, I've heard that too. That is true, actually. That's a Brendan Fraser movie, everybody. Journey to the Center of the Earth, right? But some people believe that's true. No, that's like, uh, the new King Kong movie. That's that's if what you they Google did. They went, they went into the uh, crust of the Earth, and there's a, there's a new world under hey, there. Man, at the end of the day, a lot of us we that's don't know so shit about true. fuck, I'm, so I'm yeah, cool with Lois anything. And that. No, yeah. Yeah. everything is so scary. <laughs> The Earth's a pretty okay, big well, place. it's still <laughs> my pick on this swing back. Um, mm -hmm. I'm starting to run out of movies that I've seen and that I've liked. Um, but there is one that I'm surprised is still on here, and that's Child's Play. So I'm going to grab that one. Nice. Damn, I was going for that next. Yeah. Good one. Great pick. I know. I Some long. of these I'm shocked. Nope. You know, it's a ginger. Don't be it's mean fine. to him. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting too... It's yeah. not his fault. It's not his fault. He's a serial killer. Brad Dorf and that movie. Weirdly, and you've got what is it? The mom from Seventh Heaven? Wrong. Isn't that who's the yes. mom in that movie? It's the mom from Seventh Heaven. Oh my God. God. <laughs> Range. All right, I am up next. Delbert Grady with my eighth pick. I'm gonna go with Eraserhead. It's ah, chilling up there at number fourteen nice. still. Wow. I will take Lynch that late what in the film. draft any day. Taking one for the I team. I started watching it over the weekend, and I was like, I can't do this. Not that it's bad, but I was just like, I was like, I have to watch like 10 <laughs> movies today, and this can't be one of them. This is going to slow me down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I cannot do this. That's like a, I can only spend like a weekend watching yeah. this movie. That's but it. But I, like, I went back and well. I watched the second half and I was like, "Ooh, okay, we would be <laughs> feeling down in the dump." <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. and the sound design is amazing. Awesome. Brad Pitt did like a great photo shoot as the character. Oh, um, did he? Like in the nineties. Oh, cool. Check oh, it wow. out. It's really cool. Wow. All right. Next up, we have Sydney Sparkle Motion, with your eighth right. pick. Who are you taking? I'm gonna take no. Pet Cemetery. Because nice. one, Stephen King, icon. Two, the cat's name, who is terrifying, Great is name. Winston Churchill, and they call him Church. <laughs> and, but like, I don't know. I love the premise of this movie, and it's just like so good. And it's set in Maine, and everybody knows That's Maine true. is the scariest state, state of all it fifty is. states. He puts like all, and it's like so all movies. the way up. You know what I mean? Like, why does it Anything need to be so happen. high? I bet there's cryptids there for sure. So. <laughs> They definitely have a local cryptid. And and also, isn't that I where Doctor Sleep probably. takes place? Is Maine? He does yeah. everything in New, in New yeah. England. And that's where it sure. takes Not place. Not always yeah. in New yeah. England. He's areas. obsessed with Maine. Yeah. He writes. And I else. love the way that they spell cemetery. Yeah. It's very. Yeah. Easy. Is, the, is there a plot <laughs> reason for that? S e m a t. -A yeah, it's what? like in the movie. It's yeah, like spelled wrong. Too, okay. It is. It's like a kid. I think it's. Uh, yeah. A kid oh, like a wrote kid. it. Yeah, a kid wrote it. They were like, "What if we rolled?" I can't, this? I can't rig it. I can't the, rock it. Cemetery. The movie is great and fun, and the book was so fucking sad, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Deeply dark and depressing. I didn't finish the book. I was like, "Oh, I can't uh, yeah. do this." Um, is it my turn? Oh fuck. Yeah, Monica, Christine in the Scream Queens. Okay, I had it decided now. and then I forgot. So hold on. <laughs> uh oh. Gotta review the uh, list. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Mm. I know. Plenty left. I know. There's some good uh, ones left. We have Don't Look Now, The Dead Zone, Nosferatu, The Omen, Evil Dead 2, Cujo, Salem's Lot, The Hills Have Eyes, The Last House on the Left, The Reanimator. So many oh, options. Okay. There's so many good ones. It's like, do I speak from my heart or do I do the one that I have a funny joke that I came up with for already? I say funny <laughs> joke. That's a funny joke. Yeah. I'm going to do that one. Okay, yeah. we're joke, doing Return joke. of the Living Dead. Um, I watched that for the first time this weekend, and it blew my mind because there was a character who gets naked in the first 10 minutes and then she's naked the entire rest of the movie because she never gets a chance to put her clothes back on. And I thought it was hilarious. It's, it's, all, it's also just like such a silly, it's so silly. It's like classic 80s silliness, zombies, people fucking up, people being dumb, um, punks and, and cool costumes. Um, I am in, deeply in love with Spider. Um, 
Spider is the person I would choose to be on my team to try to not die. Um, and yeah, it's great. It's really good. <laughs> awesome. All right, Anthony, the Polter guys, you oh, have well. a swing pick. <clears throat> You get you get your eighth and ninth pick right now. Evil Dead Two, baby. Evil Dead Two. That was pretty quick. Ready. Yeah, that, that planned out. Ooh. Ready to go. All right, now number nine pick for you. I'm gonna go with. Hmm. Hmm. Um. I know oh, you can't plan ahead tough. anymore. Um. You just gotta go with your gut. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what's your gut telling Listen you, Anthony? Listen to your heart. <laughs> I was Listen to your heart. <laughs> Glad we're in the same place. <laughs> we're going <laughs> Hellraiser. <laughs> Hellraiser. That's a, that's a fucked it. up movie. That movie that's is, a fucked up movie. I was hoping no one was seeing so that right now. Up. It's so It's deeply wrong. It's a fucked wrong. up movie. Great swing pick. All right, back to Monica, Christine, the Screen Queens, with your okay, all right, all right, pick all right. as well. Okay, I can ar go all the way down to the second page because I don't fuck with any of the movies that are left in the fr first page. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> I know. You might be stuck and with them I later on, do, though. If I get stuck with Nosferatu, I'm going to be so fucking mad. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. It's a great movie. <laughs> we'll get, I'll tell you why later. There's eight leftovers. Uh, don't worry. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, okay. I can't be Amityville Horror. I fell asleep. I felt, feel, felt so bad, but I could not stay awake. <laughs> um, I like the I Ryan Gosling one. I love the Ryan Gosling one. one. It's, uh, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. Oh. I'm sorry. Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds, everyone. Reynolds you're right. <laughs> I really rewrote it Ryan. in my mind as Ryan Gosling and remembered his face in the movie. You said like, it, I really she did. It. Yeah. <laughs> I was Thank thinking you, about it all I last night. I love Gosling, but he cannot grow a beard. He cannot grow a beard like that. Yeah. He's got an okay yeah. beard. He, yeah, he cannot like not, not like, like Reynolds. Reynolds, Reynolds, beard. Reynolds got the facial beard. hair. He's no. unnecessarily shredded in that movie. But also unnecessarily like, shredded. But Reynolds, like, what is your workout routine besides <laughs> chopping wood? But for a remake, he was so reminiscent of James Brolin yeah, in the original. Totally. Yeah, yeah. We gotta do something okay, different. Okay. And it's all men new. love Ryan Reynolds. Okay, so. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pick the one <laughs> that my I, my namesake. I'm picking Christine. Um, this movie. Nice. I I freaking love this movie. I think it is such like it's such a concept of a movie that I didn't think that I would like. Um, and I, I actually thought I hadn't seen it, but I re I watched it and I was like, oh yeah, I've seen this whole thing before. I just forgot. But I love '50s music, so I love that that's like a theme throughout. I like know all of those songs, so it hit extra <laughs> uh, good for me. And I don't know. I also think there's something to be said about how the main guy, who's not Arnie, his name escapes me, looks just like Paul Walker, and it's a car movie and Fast and Furious. <laughs> think about that. I don't know. There's something then there. Then Dominic Toretto showed oh up with a charger. He's like, <laughs> yeah, and family. then he's the one who destroys Christine. That's the real movie that we need. It's a race. Maybe that'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> that could happen in part two of, of Fast 10. You never know. Um, <laughs> they should remake yeah. this. They should. <laughs> yes. Do you guys see Fast X? I'm a huge Fast and Furious girlie. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I love Fast Monica and Furious. Monica loves all of that. I, Did you like it? I loved you it. You liked but it? But I understand any critiques you may have. But <laughs> I am blinded by yeah. my love. <laughs> he drove down the Hoover Dam as it was blowing <laughs> you up. You have to leave <laughs> while, reality while we, while at we were the watching door it, yeah. when you walk into the movie theater. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. more than leaving reality. That That's now. more than leaving reality. The dialogue's... Yeah, but while I was watching it, I went in like, I know I'm going to hate this movie. Then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. They're just like yeah. dudes and, and filmmakers yeah. just playing with cars like you're a kid just smashing them into buildings. Uh -huh. That's what they're doing That's right now happening. with movies. I respect it. It was, my, it was the first one I'd seen since Tokyo oh, Drift. Oh, you must have been so scared. You <laughs> I love Tokyo thing. Drift. You must have been terrified. I thought I would be confused, but then I was like, oh, I got, I'm up to speed all right away. I can't, yeah. Dude, I like Tokyo Drift. I'm not no, going to lie. Tokyo I'm not afraid to admit great. I, like Drift. I love slaps. Tokyo also, Drift. Also, the like song. Yeah. Yes. That is the greatest song of all time. <laughs> I want to have you know. It's got Tokyo. little Bow Wow in it. <laughs> Never forget. Yeah, Bow yeah, Wow. Back when the, Bow Wow was an actor. With the, uh, the Hulk I'm cart. I'm so glad I chose this movie. Remember when uh, Never Like Mike? About Fast and Furious. Remember Like Mike? <laughs> My true passion. Forget she really snuck it in there. Yeah. <laughs> You you planned this segue. You planned the segue. So hold on, segue Bow Wow. So he was in of Like course. Mike. Remember the movie? Yeah. And yes. so the the bully of Mike of Like Mike was yeah. Jesse Plemons. Yeah. Oh my the God. Bully. Yeah. 
Isn't that on crazy? The basketball court, right? The basketball, yeah. yeah. Holy crap. Mind blown. Wow. Mind Beautiful blown. starting point for any actor. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the draft. <laughs> Bullying Bow Wow is <laughs> a starting point, yeah. <laughs> All right, Sydney, Sparkle Motion, you are on your ninth pick now. Who are you taking? I'm doing the Amityville Horror. One, it's got Margot Kidder, yes. also in Black Christmas, a fun Fun, fun, but also, you know, if a priest came into my house, I would also kick them out. You know, you have to have boundaries. <laughs> and if like flies just the... showed up, yeah, <laughs> and I don't a radiator. Need... It was like sounds really evil. It's like Buddy the Elf when he's like, "There's like a scary noise coming from over there." <laughs> it's just the heater. <laughs> I, I don't know what ha- I lived in Nashville for a little while, and I went home for like a week, and I came back, and there was just. Flies everywhere in my house, and I was like, oh I don't God. know. And they just like kept coming, and I was like, Is my house possessed? That's like, a, that do I have a demon really in my house? <laughs> and they really thought that was happening thought. there. I would think that too. Yeah. Like that was my immediate thought. I was like, Is my house possessed? That's cool. I mean, James Brolin, like he was a legend, so that's so cool. that's a good pick. I like that movie, but I do like the Ryan Reynolds one a lot. All right, my turn. This Chloe is- Grace Moretz is in that. In the, in the, the, the room. She's Have the daughter. Heard? Yeah, she's the little daughter. <laughs> oh my the god! The daughter who stands on the roof. Oh, Remember, she stands on the crap, roof. Where is Chloe Grace Moretz? She's tiny. She's okay, tiny. She's so good remakes when she's Horror a little baby remakes. child. She's she did some great ones then. Yeah. <laughs> she was a cute kid. She was a cute kid. Little baby child. All right, my ninth pick. So our mother's birthday was yesterday, and in honor of Janice's birthday, I'm gonna pick one of her favorite horror <laughs> movies. <laughs> That she showed us when we were like six. Oh Cujo, God! She's like, I do that for you. About a ra- <laughs> a rabid dog. <laughs> this is for you guys. You're gonna love this movie. She, ha- she made us watch it when we were little. And the ironic thing is, she's terrified she said, of dogs. She's passing yeah. on so, this generational Cujo. trauma immediately. Immediately. <laughs> it didn't work though because we love dogs. Love like, dogs. Yeah. I need my children to she also like, not like dogs. It's an awesome yeah, hate dogs. Didn't you hate dogs ever now. Ever ask for a dog as a pet, so she's like, "Let me sneak this in early." <laughs> Probably. Holy shit! That's it. That's that definitely sense. right. Yeah. That's definitely right. Well, no, she always said that we have four older brothers, so she's like, "There's enough dogs in the house. We don't need another one for me to take care of because you guys are pissing all over the seats, anyways. We don't need more dogs." And she's right. <laughs> Did you just think of four older brothers? How many are yeah, six of us? Six yeah. boys. <laughs> Just <laughs> us. <laughs> Just so us. we're all twins. <laughs> that would be your poor mother. Yeah. Your poor mother. Janice is a saint. She deserves- also oh. she was she was only twenty eight years old when she had six hundred wow. boys. She oh, identical a twin babies. Yeah. A literal yeah. saint. Also, yeah, tell her happy birthday, Janice. Birthday. We will. Yeah, yeah. she will, she'll love that. <laughs> we got her a gardening kit because she yeah. likes to garden. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's the best. She's the best. But yeah, I love Cujo. If you think about it, Cujo's kind of like Jaws in a it way. Is like you know, Jaws, it's very yeah. much like oh, Jaws. Oh, I see yeah. what you mean. If anyone's never seen it, I recommend it. It's a trip. All right, Chelsea, we are the Stepford Wives. You are on your swing pick. You I get know. two picks, and then I'm you're closing done with out your my draft. list. Yeah, because oh, first one done. So I feel yeah, like right. well, pressure is on, but also a lot of the ones that I would want are gone. And I kept being like, how could I? steal from someone um but i i'm wow. not sure <laughs> so mean and cruel yeah. are there any trades in this dra- <laughs> are you sure you don't want one of these duds that hasn't been picked yet i mean um that said this is surprising to me this is not a choice that i thought that i would make um because when we did the remake we famously hated it so 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 much and wanted to um like almost we were like oh, i wish kidding we had not committed to doing this. Um, we almost stopped the episode before with it Julia started. Julia Stiles? <laughs> yeah. yeah um, they know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, but I watched the older version, um, and it was less repellent to me than the new one. This is The Hills Have Eyes. <laughs> um, I am wearing my West oh. Raven shirt, so it feels right. Um, I we, we hated the remake so much. So um, much? That's I didn't so like the much. remake it either. Was, it, was, it was really it was terrible. Impossible to watch. Really disgusting. Really some unnecessary stuff that is not there. Maybe implied yeah. to some degree, but like they made the remake so much more horrific than the original on purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also just kind of like the setup of the original more. Like it feels right for the time period. Um, whereas the remake, you know 
they were doing it for the sake of a remake, not necessarily because it was like speaking to something in the era. Um, so it's not something that mm. I wanted to choose any earlier in the list, but now that we're down here, I, I'm taking it. I, here we are. <laughs> here we are. Um, it's a good, it's a good pick yeah, for your ninth pick. I think pick, so too. Honestly, that is a good pick. Ninth and now that I'm on pick. my 10th round and again, I only have movies that I haven't seen. I think I'm going to just take the one closest to the top because I feel like strategy wise, it's seated <laughs> so high. <laughs> Um, that I'm gonna go with Dawn of the Dead just for for oh. for my numbers game. It's gone. Oh, I you did? Did I? Dawn of the Dead. Dead. Oopsie. Yeah. <laughs> that was my attempt to steal. Damn. Yeah. No, you got it. You got that like number five. Yeah, we were <laughs> talking about the ball. Yeah. I wanted to steal. Yeah. You, it was number five, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god! Get out of here, okay. Chelsea. You trying to steal <laughs> my draft? Trying to so I'm trying. I'm gonna I'm take gonna the Shining. I'm gonna take the Shining and Jaws. Well, I didn't italicize it on my list. That one's on me. That's my bad. Um. I know. <laughs> I have to there's just so much happening all the time. Um, okay, then I think that I am going to go with the reanimator. And that's oh. nowhere near the top of the list, but it's oh. the one I'm taking. So that's good. a great one. It Here's seems like that's they're doing a lot of fun stuff pick. in there, a lot of fun stuff with practical effects as well. Um, so I mean, I think they they do a lot of silly stuff too, is my understanding. And I love to be silly. Stuff that makes no fucking sense. And that's I love fine. to be silly. Sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You are done with your draft. You have 10, 10 moves. Great job. Great job. All right. I am on my final pick of the draft. And Choose wisely. You know, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, I adore that film. and I, I'm a huge fan of Donald Sutherland. And since I couldn't get that, I think I will take Don't Look Now. Because he's also in that movie. And yeah. it's in Venice. It's an awesome movie. And you yeah, get in, to see his Italy, butt. So I'm taking Don't Look Now. <laughs> <laughs> I like that movie. <laughs> it's a great movie. It's I love terrific. the uh, the objectification of men from y'all because we actually do that a lot too. It's... <laughs> yeah. We talk yeah. about Henry Cavill. We yeah. talk about Henry Cavill. We talk about Henry Cavill. Well, quite as a lot, you should. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, men are objects <laughs> and props. Like... <laughs> It's only fair sometimes. Yeah, You're writing history's wrongs. Um, <laughs> eventually, at some point, we'll get to a place where it's even and we'll stop. But yeah, yeah, In like yeah, yeah, yeah. Years at least give us know. a couple <laughs> centuries <laughs> to get our to get our fun. Yeah, we won't be alive for it. Yeah. <laughs> so my final pick is "Don't Look Now," and I'm done. Great job, man. Next up, we have Sydney Sparkle Motion. Your final pick of the draft. Okay. I want to don't look now, but it's fine, I guess. <laughs> the man oh. got it. <laughs> the <laughs> man patriarchy <laughs> once again. <laughs> yeah. Taking our movies in the last round. Dawn of the Dead, I yeah. wanted that. But... <laughs> hey, she took Black Christmas from you. What about her? We're an... Yeah, yeah but we're allies. I can't see that. I thought about that. I was like, should we set up a secret <laughs> alliance going in? Like... <laughs> <laughs> That's what our friends do when we play board you games. Have it's not to fair. Sometimes. <laughs> it's <survivable. laughs> girls, They turn to girls versus guys. Yeah, it turns to the girls versus guys. Also, just use your twin sucks. telepathy. Come on. I don't want oh, him to win. Yeah. Well, we can't play specific games like um, what's um, what? th there's there's a few games we can't play because oh. it's not fair because we're twins. Like we can't be on the same team. Code names. Code we can't names. Play. We can't play it on the same team. Taboo. It's like really I bet is one you that, can't so. do either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just know each other so well. Sure. It's like cheating. <laughs> kind of, yeah. All right, Sparkle Motion. Uh, I didn't want to do two no, vampire movies, but I'm going to oh, do Fright okay. Night. Nice. It's a good. It's better than the, the remake for sure. Yeah, I, it's, love you know, Fright it's, Night. I thought it was really good. It was fun and I love silly. Fright Night. I love Fright Night. Excellent movie yes, poster. Exactly. I, was, I actually would Excellent have taken poster. it if, uh, if it was still open. I was going to take it. It's not my turn, is it? No. Yeah, it is. It is your turn. Yeah, it is. Yes. Oh, Sparkle Motion okay, is done okay, with. Okay. She's got 10. Give me a second. Sorry. She's 10. Oh. Christine and the Scream Queens. <laughs> no pressure. We, no we pressure. need to get like a like a timer for you I when know, you pick. I don't pressure. Her. I just got <laughs> off. Remember when people used to say JK? JK, JK, JK. JK, JK. JK, JK. We're, JK, all, JK. we're all millennials, right? I'm, yeah. I'm the, millennials. Okay, I already know what I'm going to choose. And I, did, I didn't expect anyone to choose this one because... I had never heard of this before in my life until two days ago. But I loved The Hitcher. I loved The Hitcher. The Hitcher was great. awesome. Everyone in it, very good looking. 
The plot, very horrifying. <laughs> no one should ever pick up hitchhikers. I cannot believe that that was a thing. Um, so it's such really... a thing, too. Crazy. Yeah, very common thing. thing. Very I, common I thing. literally, no wonder there was so many yeah, serial They killers. made it so yeah. easy yeah. back in the day. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me just look for a fucking hitchhiker. Okay. No technology, oh no fingerprint analysis, no DNA. And nobody People... can check anything. They can't, like, Google your social media to find out if you are who you say you are. Well, people just trusted people more because there wasn't like as much media for us to know about how everyone is the fucked up in The 24-hour news cycle ruined <laughs> everything for serial killers. Uh, Thank you. Killers. could actually trust your neighbor. You used to be able to, to an extent. Until you found out they were until a serial you, killer. Until they were a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, I, I just love the pacing of the Hitcher. I thought it was really, really fun. And I just was expecting it to be a total dud. Sorry, because it was at the end of the list. I don't know. And it blew my mind. I loved it. <laughs> Is, didn't they remake it with Sean Bean? <laughs> Sean Bean is no the way. Hitcher. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. remade it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I feel like half the movie. Two thousand seven. The Hitcher in then. the yeah. this one in the seventies one um or eighties might be eighties um he looks exactly like Viggo Mortensen. Mort Mortensen. How do you say his last name? I think you did great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you it. so much. Yeah, you you nailed it, Aragorn. He's an yeah. attractive serial killer. He's. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it helps him, him into the car want to get in my car yeah, um sure. yeah <laughs> yes i'll get in your car <laughs> okay but here's the thing sophia bush is in the remake oh. of the hitcher so. yes that's right. yes that's right. yeah and the shotgun and the boots i feel like she's got uggs on and a shotgun or something okay, okay. Love yes. i love like cow, cowboy yeah, i'm gonna watch the remake now this sounds great <laughs> it's pretty good it's got a great ending i think it's, it's solid um <laughs> All right, right. Yeah. we're on the last pick of the draft. Anthony Poulter, guys, you're going to finish us off here. What do you got? I get one pick. One pick. Close That'll be the 10th. Ooh. Oh, man. Interesting. Yeah. It so far has been such a treat. I this has been so fun. I realized that one of the ones hmm. I like more is still on the list, and I'm devastated. <laughs> <laughs> last minute spots. It. Too late. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Monica. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Ooh. with The Omen. The Omen, great pick. It's a really great movie. I watched it um, again recently, and it was just, it hit real hard. It was great. It's terrifying. The dogs. Oh, oh my like God, the dogs. It's shocking great, that great that shot. was the last the last pick, because it's so classic. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. really great. It lasted a while. All children right. are scary. <laughs> Especially if they're the son of the devil. It's a known fact. <laughs> All right, everyone's got their team, so... Great job, everybody. Round of applause. Everyone did a great job. Do you um, want to read off the teams? So I'll read off the teams, and then we'll all, I guess, take our turn. Vote for someone else's team that mm -hmm. you think is the best team. Okay. You cannot vote for yourself, and hopefully someone will have at least two votes, and they can be the winner between us. But we'll also, again, if you're listening on Spotify, on either Spooky Tuesday's show or on Raiders of the Lost Podcast or our show, we'll all have a poll up for a team, and you get all of our teams. You get to select who you think has the best team movie team nice. and then the poll will be a great indicator of who really won we'll see we will see all right so anthony the polter guys let's read off your team name the exorcist jaws the shining a nightmare in elm street beetlejuice little shop of horrors videodrome evil dead 2 hellraiser and the omen yeah i feel like that's a really good team that's a really good team that's I appreciate strong. it. I, appreciate I feel that. like yeah. I appreciate it. I feel like, like he was just going he, for yeah, like a lot of the mainstream that people will know. He's, he's, he's so, so mainstream. So <laughs> All the points. What and the then fucking one cut with video drum. So everybody I'm knows that, that I'm edgy. Yeah. I, lo I love the one eighty. <laughs> we just took. Your life oh right my now. god! Sorry. Great team, but also fuck Anthony. Down so that you don't immediately demolish the competition. <laughs> Holy shit. I think you're all jealous that I got Beatles in a little shop yeah, of horrors. No, I Anyways, mean, I, I, I just like, I don't know how to react to that literally on it a is, dime. Oh, yeah, I think we're all just jealous. It's a really good team. You guys made me so feel so warm and loved. Here's the real and then us. Ridiculed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're nice. We built you up so we could tear you down. All right, Monica's team Christine and the Scream Queens, The Thing, Possession, Rocky Picture Horror Show, <laughs> The Wicker Man. The Fly, Friday the 13th, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Return of the Living Dead, Christine, and The Hitcher. Nice Another some real bangers on there. It's a little quirky. All yeah. bangers. <laughs> <laughs> 
Next we it's have got personality. <laughs> we have Sydney's team. Sparkle Motion has the Evil Dead, Suspiria, Predator, the Lost Boys, Halloween, Deep Red, Young Frankenstein, Pet Cemetery, the Amityville Horror, and Fright Night. Nice, great team. Incredible Who team. Get that team. My team. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, my team, Delbert Grady, Alien, Rosemary's Baby, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, House, Dawn of the Dead, Gremlins, Near Dark, Eraserhead, Cujo, and Don't Look Now. And finally, <laughs> good listening. Thanks. Silence. No one That's said a fucking thing. Like, so good. No one said a thing. I was like, I was like, I, I was gave, like, I gave you a pity compliment. Did the Wi-Fi go out? Like, what's going Sorry, on? I think we all need to form an alliance against Anthony, maybe. So actually, James, I love your list. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chelsea. Chelsea's team. We are the Stepford Wife guys. Invasion of the Body Snatchers, An American Werewolf in London, Carrie, The Stepford Wives, Black Christmas, Poltergeist, Piranha, Child's Play, The Hills Have Eyes, and The Reanimator. Yeah, yeah. Everyone did a wow, these, yeah. great I love that. jobs, everybody. Sure. Great job. This would be a great movie marathon right. any one of these. It would. Yeah. Damn, I know. Oh, yeah. Man. Here's the thing. It's like, how did that happen? Sit there with your little hat distracting us. Be an incognito yeah. with your little hat. I'm out here just picking the fucking guy. I love. We're I didn't just... even think about to strategize. I know. We we love you, Anthony. He like even hey, 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 I did. He's got think, a musical. Did, he's got on. Beetlejuice. Yeah. Right. I got some depth. Also, I do love all. I mean, I got a Jaws poster. Yeah. You're got, standing by your face. Um, what but else do I? Have. You have a lot of bangers. Yeah, on there. Exorcist yeah. poster. We're also yeah, yeah. Coming, I got, I got evil. We're coming for your life there. because we're threatened. Because it's, that, yeah, yeah, it's objectively a very good <laughs> yeah. team. I know, and so we're, we're coming mad about it. your podcast and <laughs> we're trying to manipulate you. the audience <laughs> to think it's a bad list. And hey, he's my twin. Said. I'm not happy about this either. All right, everything's a competition. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, this is an honest vote, everyone. God damn it! All right, okay, but objective also, vote. I just want to say. That if you don't vote for me, I'm gonna doubt your commitment wow. to Sparkle Motion. Wow. <laughs> Great reference. Sick reference. Sick reference. Sick reference. Your references Rolling are out of control. Around. Everybody knows that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's just go one by one. Everyone vote for a team, not your own team. So, Anthony, who are you gonna vote for? I vote for Sydney. Love it. All right. Great, Sydney great, great draft. Gets a vote from Anthony. So you get one sparkle. Okay. I'm committed. Jazz hands. <laughs> Monica, who are you going to vote for? Oh, it's a hard one. It's a really hard one. Um, I think I am going to vote for Sydney as well. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Oh, Sydney's oh got God. two stars. Sydney, your turn to vote. I am going to vote for not Anthony. <gasps> and I'm going to vote you, for babe. Monica. <laughs> wow. Monica gets a star. <laughs> <laughs> my turn I am gonna vote with a pain for my evil twin brother his it team is. is just stacked why am I I'm, evil we've I'm all of a sudden going go on the hat. way that you got to the rest of us Anthony we, we see something it's just a good list, embrace man. it you're an evil <laughs> mastermind and we're all jealous I'll embrace it if I win his I'll top embrace three I'll embrace it if I win Jaws in the Shining like fuck <laughs> Yeah, All they're the great. Ten. All right, Chelsea, who okay. are you voting for? Um, this is hard. Um, I I feel some loyalty to to my podcast co-host and also feminism as a whole. Um, <laughs> but I also it is hard to deny that Anthony's list is great. Um, that said, I think um I have to go with Monica. Because there's a lot of movies on here that I love and have a lot of fun with. Um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space in particular, I think, is winning a lot of favor for me, for sure. And Rocky Horror Picture Show. And those two on the same list, actually, um, is kind of a banger. Right? Yeah. That's yeah, a great back-to-back. -back. Swoop in and grab Rocky a ASAP. It's mm -hmm. the best. I think those two together <laughs> is doing some real heavy right. lifting. 
All right, we have a tie then. Tiebreaker. Between Monica and Sydney. So how about we do a new vote? And since there's five of us, <gasps> there, can there can only be one. So we'll have to win. Well, okay, so I have to vote for Sydney. All right. Then, so. <laughs> I have to vote for Monica. Okay, you're, That's okay. fine. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> and then we can and do a little circle. Out. Out. Then there's just then, three yeah. votes, right? Fair enough. All right, so there's mm-hmm. so, so I voted Sydney. So Anthony, you're gonna go. Are you still Sydney, Sydney again? Yeah. All right, and then going through the lists. Oh man, this is tough. I'm gonna go it's Monica. You. Wow, Chelsea. Wow. Chelsea, you're the. Are you gonna, <laughs> Chelsea, are you which, which of your co-hosts like do you like better? Change your vote. Now you wish you voted wow. for me. Crazy. <laughs> you should have voted for um, Anthony. Actually, do you think Anthony is taking some points? Um. <laughs> No, I think I think I gotta <laughs> stick with my Monica vote from round one of voting. Monica, I Monica know. wins it's like the draft. This draft for went the show. so well. It's the killer clown. <laughs> Monica's like, I, I love sports. I'm very interested in drafting. <laughs> I'll do any sports. Sports are fun. Did, sports. I, did I get a touchdown? I think we all kind of know in our hearts um, who won, but who maybe had the best team. Then why didn't that person well, get the vote? Well, it's politics, baby. You <laughs> Answer gotta, me that. You gotta, you gotta work the crowd. <laughs> you gotta hey, play the game. At least you gotta vote. <laughs> <laughs> me and Chelsea over here are just yeah, like, yeah, twin <laughs> brother does not count. <laughs> alliance. What's that about? You guys, For real. No, I have a really time. good list. Both of you. Okay, oh, thanks, sorry. Monica. <laughs> And here's the thing, we still have Spotify. Y'all could yeah, yes, we were hit. True. Yeah, again, so everyone listening, go on Spotify. Even if you want, listen on Apple Podcasts or YouTube, wherever, go on Spotify if you have it, and you can vote on the poll for both Spooky Tuesdays account if you're listening there or we on can do a Plus poll podcast. on Instagram too. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, but yeah, either one. Yeah, we can do Instagram yeah. as well. Can you do five options? I think only four, think and then it'll only be, be 24 only hours. Four, yeah. Yeah. So. so we'll just cut you out. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How about just vote on Spotify, <laughs> Anthony? <laughs> Spotify's, good. Spotify's good. Spotify's <laughs> good. And we'd love for everyone to interact and just leave your vote there. That'd be a lot of fun. But Spooky Tuesday, thank you so much for joining us for our first ever movie draft. This that was so fun. fun. It was just such a blast. Yeah. It's posting on both of our our shows at the same day, Thursday. Definitely, if you're listening to Raiders of Lost Podcast, our fans and listeners, go check out Spooky Tuesday. Spooky Tuesday, hope you give us a shot. We cover a bunch of movies as well. And this was such a yeah, blast. Yeah, we'll have Seriously. to do like early 2000s horror next time. That's oh, yeah. really my genre, oh, yeah. yeah. And 90s. Yeah. I'm going to watch one of these tonight. I, I'm yeah, craving I'm horror now. Remake. I'm going to watch it, yeah. So I'm thinking maybe Christine. <laughs> I might do Black Chloe Christmas. Right? I'm, I'm <laughs> feeling a slasher tonight. Slasher tonight. Black <laughs> <laughs> Grace Moret's draft. <laughs> but yeah, I'll... We really Remake appreciate so you guys many. coming up with this idea. It was super fun. And hello to all of the Raiders of the Lost podcast listeners. If you like spooky things if you like the sound of our voices if you like making horror movies gayer do you like matthew lillard all of these things and more you can find at spooky tuesday follow us get a <laughs> little woozy here billy i'm just saying <laughs> did you really call my mom and dad? did you really <laughs> come on my dad are gonna be so mad at me <laughs> Big of matthew on the pod maddie lily as we call him oh he's awesome <laughs> as any of his close friends we're upset that oh, of course <laughs> They shouldn't have killed him in Scream. <laughs> they shouldn't have killed him. No, but like, how come Billy gets to be a ghost? But I know, not, you never know. Yeah. He's still Why alive. Stay? He's Why can't he's still alive. He's still alive. Like they're setting up a Do it. Yeah. I Do hope live. so. People, they, they that's gotta, I mean, that's they have to do. They that. gotta do something. I mean, they're gonna be on the seventh one. They're like, we get, what are we gonna do? All right, Stan's alive. I mean, Stu's alive. Stan or Stu? Stu. Stu. He was Stu's supposed alive. to be the Stu's killer alive. in get the right. second one. <laughs> Three. Wow, they fake fan. It. Or the third one, sorry. <laughs> Have you even seen Scream? <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> All right, well, that wraps this episode. Thanks again, Spooky Tuesday. This was so much fun. Everyone listening, you can find us, Raiders of Lost Podcast, everywhere. Spooky Tuesday, find them everywhere as well. Take care and stay spooky. See you next time. This episode was executive produced by our chosen one patrons, Cody Moen, Andrew Hagen, Becca Keen. Benjamin Cook, Calvin Murphy Griggs, Nicholas Martin, Darian, Tyler McFly, and Sal Coching. Our chosen one patrons are our biggest supporters. Thank you so much. 
Thank you for watching Raiders of the Lost podcast. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button as well, notifications for sure. Listen to the show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, everywhere you can listen to podcasts. And be sure to check out this other content we have on our YouTube channel.